Nice to meet ya. My name is Riri Hitotsu Yanagi. Riri is written with the kanji for pear and azure. And Hitotsu Yanagi is written as one willow. Today is my first day at school at Yurigaoka Girls Academy. It hardly feels real. I'm going to one of the most prestigious lily training facilities in the world. Can you believe it? I'm going to become a lily! I bet I know what you're thinking. Riri and Lily sound kind of alike, don't they? I used to get teased for that a lot when I was younger. But it doesn't bother me anymore. Oh, sorry, I got sidetracked. About 50 years ago, these weird creatures called Huge started to appear all around the world. And Lilies are the last hope we have of stopping them from destroying humanity. We may be young, but it's our duty to train hard so we can protect the people we love. The Huge are... Wow, a huge nest. friendly. I had to take the morning train here from my house all the way out in Koshu, though I'm pretty sure everybody else moved into their dorms already. I've always been just a little less on top of things than the other girls my age. Yes, I got admitted to Yurigaoka, but from the wait list. I really don't mind, though. Either way, I still got in. I'm going to become a lily, and I'm going to fight the huge! Look, I can see the academy from here! And now, my momentous first step! There's no need to open the door for me. After all, I'm a lily now, so I should learn to look after myself, don't you think? Now. Oh, how do you do? Huh? Thank you, but you're free to go now. Uh, wait, what does that mean? I just got here and I'm trying to I'm find I'm sorry, the... but I already informed them that I don't require a companion. Companion? You got it all wrong! I'm a bona fide new student at Yuri Galka Girls Academy just like you! Well, they say that even a chance meeting can lead to a deep bond. I'm Kaide Johan Nouvelle. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lily Hitotsi Yanagi. Huh? I know you're a Lily. You don't have to introduce yourself that way. Uh, no, 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 sorry. My given name is Riri. Uh huh. You're Riri the Lily, then. I suppose it must be fate that brought you here. No! I have really only set my mind on it a year ago. I haven't seen you since junior high, Miss Yu Yu. Do you need something, Miss Endo? I wish that you would just call me Aria. And I would love to try out our charms to celebrate the new school year. What do you say? I'm finally here. But what's going on? Part of the ceremony? It's probably just some hot-headed Lily trying to pick a fight with an upperclassman. Are you for real? Lilies don't usually fight each other with charms, do they? No, but the Lilies are all 16 and 17 year old girls, so what else can you expect? Goodness! Isn't she... <gasps> that must be Yu Yu Shirai! Farewell, Riri! Um, what exactly does Arya think she's doing with Miss Yu Yu? It looks like she's picking a fight with her. Shall we stop her, Miss Soraha? I think I want to see how this plays out. Oh, if you insist. 
Uh, hey! Were you talking to Kaida Johan Nouvelle just now? Yeah. Don't you know she's basically famous? She's a super talented lily, and her father is the head of the charm manufacturer Grand Kinyo. Oh, neat. The pink-haired one is Aria Endo. She's been building her reputation as a lily since junior high. The lily she's talking to doesn't belong to any legion. The aloof Miss Yu Yu Shirai. You know lots about these girls. Anyone who reads the Ministry of Defense newsletter could tell you that much. It's nice to meet you. I'm Fumi Futagawa. <laughs> The way she took off running like that. You have to assume Miss Nouvelle is planning to make a shoots and go pledge with Miss Yu Yu. That makes sense, I guess. Do you have somebody in mind for your shoots single pledge for Tagawa? Ah, oh no, Fumi is just fine. I was a minute from the waitlist, so I don't ever expect to have a shoots and go. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I got here from the waitlist, too. Yeah, I knew that. Riri Hitotsuyanagi. Riri is fine. <laughs> Miss Yu Yu! Please step aside. You're wasting your time. Don't be coy. Why don't I help you get in the mood? She drew her charm! Me to hold back. <sighs> that look in your eyes. Oh, I'm getting chilled. All right! That's quite enough, you two. If you ladies would refrain from starting without me, I would be very and much who obliged. Are you supposed to be? My name is Kaide Johan Nouvelle, and I'm simply honored to make your acquaintance, Miss Yu Yu. My greatest wish is that a talented lily such as yourself one day consents to take a shoot single pledge with me. I'm sorry, do you mind? This has nothing to do with you. Or are you suggesting that you'll be Miss Yu Yu's opening act today? I'd be delighted. The game is on! No way, Kaede! Don't get involved! <laughs> oh wow, how did you get there so fast? Oh, sprightly young thing, isn't she just? Sprightly? Indeed. The oh. one wrong move could spell her doom. Miriam Hildegard von Gropius? Are you kidding me? How on earth did she sneak up on me like that? We're supposed to work together, not fight! What do you know? Huh? Don't interfere with my chance to shine! You can argue about this further after you get out of my way! Honestly, That's you enough, do? you're all exhausting. All three of you attack together. Wait, me what? I can't do that! You must understand, I'm on your side, Miss Yu Yu! Oh, come on, Miss Yu Yu, you're supposed to pay attention to me! Sorry, am I interrupting? Stand down now. This is no time for horseplay, ladies. One of our on-campus research facilities has reported that a huge specimen has broken from its confines and escaped. We need every available lily on deck. We'll track it down and bring it back. Very well, then. One moment, please, Yu Yu. Independent action is prohibited. And why is that? We have a report that this huge is able to mimic its immediate surroundings. You are therefore expected to operate in pairs. Let's see. You there. Please accompany you, you. Yes! That won't be necessary. She'll slow me down. Yes, I'm aware. But you could use someone to slow you down. My fight! No, let's go! Stop. Those without combat experience go to the gym. Hey! Is it okay if I come along? You can't be serious! I just want to help you! Come on, then. Oh, oh dear, please wait! Uh, oh, uh, my name is Viri Hitotsu Yanagi, by the way! I feel like I remember her being a lot nicer. Uh, please don't leave me behind! They wouldn't have let her try to help capture the huge, would they? If it weren't for Riri, I'd get to be out here all alone with Miss Yu Yu. What perfectly rotten luck. Well, 
Is all this damage from a huge battle? More than one, likely. The Academy tries to lure Huge to attack the shoreline behind school grounds. The landscape here serves as a kind of natural fortress. Keeping the battles contained helps prevent damage from spreading to the cities nearby. <sighs> Is this path part of a huge trap? Not by design, no. It was cut through the hills about a thousand years ago. <sighs> I suppose this will make a good history lesson at least. Goodness, I'd exhausted myself before the entrance ceremony. No luck just yet. Uh, do you think we should go a little farther out? It may not even be in this area to begin with. I see movement! along with us and you can't even use a charm <laughs> I'm sorry but I just wanted it's fine it's my fault for failing to realize how inexperienced you are I take responsibility really be that as it may you should still be more cautious in the future I need someone to stand guard can I count on you to do that uh huh oh yes so you haven't made a pact with your charm at all yet. It'll be simplified, but I can help you with that. Okay. That must hurt. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Miss Yuya, wait! I'm gonna bleed on it! That's all right. <laughs> of course, this isn't the official way to do it, but it gets the job done all the same. Do you feel that? Your magi can now flow into your charm through your ring. My magi? <sighs> Look alive! No fair. I don't get to be alone with Miss Yu Yu, and now I can't even show off for her. Now don't let go of your charm until it activates. Oh, right. But uh, when will that be? Don't worry. When it happens, you'll know. was trying to make us hit each other. It can't be! Huge aren't that intelligent! Have you thanked Hitotsu Yunagi yet? <sighs> if she hadn't seen you and stopped me from drawing my charm, there's no doubt in my mind that I would have sliced you in half. <sighs> you have excellent <sighs> eyesight. <laughs> I grew up in the country and you gotta keep your eyes sharp out there, you know? <laughs>
pretty when it heals up. I don't mind so much. Now I'll never forget what happened today. I wanted to ask, you changed your charm, didn't you? We've met before. Two years ago. You probably don't remember, but... You saved me when we escaped from Koshu. These girls are okay. Was that girl Lily? What is that? It's still sparkling. Are you hurt? You can still stand, right? We have reinforcements close by. Pull your friend to her feet and run straight ahead. Got it? Oh, yes, ma'am. We need to go, okay? Don't worry. The lilies will protect us. We'll be fine. Okay. Thank you, you too. I recognize you as a lily from Yuri Galka, but that's all I knew about you at the time. Don't tell me that's the only reason you're here. It is, <laughs> but I got waitlisted. What a reckless way to make such a big decision. Getting to meet you so soon after being accepted is kind of a dream come true. But, you know, I feel like Compared to when I met you two years ago, you seem kind of... You know what? Never mind. I still need to find the other Lily. Gotta thank her, too. Uh. All right, how we doing in here? Sorry to keep you waiting so long. <coughs> nice to meet you. My name's Moyu Mashima. I'm the one who accidentally let that huge specimen get loose. <laughs> In my defense, though, who'd have thought it could break through 50 centimeter thick concrete, right? That was extremely careless. Go easy on me, we're still learning about them. But you gotta love that they always exceed our wildest expectations. Thank goodness for lilies, huh? And of course, I'm super grateful to you and the new girl for cleaning up my mess. Don't call her the new girl. It's Riri. No, that's okay. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I came all the way down here to say hey? Oh, I guess the way I said it was kind of rude. Lesson learned. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Kaede. Listen, I'm really sorry that I shoved you. <laughs> hey, uh, you know that I'm not Miss Yuyu, right? No, even I'm shocked. But something just came over me. You have to believe me. I'm not normally a loose woman. Uh, you'll have to forgive me, Miss Yu Yu. I'm afraid. This girl is my destiny and I can't let her go. Fine. Don't mind me. Wait, where are you going? Come back! The entrance ceremony has to be over by now, huh? I bet they're... Uh, still here? See, the ceremony's about to start. Hey, Fumi. The acting chairman decided to delay it a little. Out of respect for today's most meritorious student. Hey there, celebrity. Stunning display, vanquishing a huge the second you form a pact with your charm. It's not that big a deal. I only got in the way. You know that's not true. You are magnificent, Riri. Hmm. The way it's written sounds pretty impressive. The way it's written where? I had it printed right away. It's an extra of the weekly Lily News. My only question uh, now is why you're arm in arm with Miss Nouvelle. Trust me, there's a very deep reason. You wouldn't understand. Uh, <laughs> wait, where's Miss Yu Yu? Don't you want to watch the entrance ceremony? We could still make it. There's no reason for me to attend. Sure there is. Think about it. You've gone from doing the idolizing to being the idolized. Makes you appreciate the passage of time. Please stop teasing me. <laughs> I'm not picking on you. I'm just glad to see you're as adorable as ever. It makes me happy. Here we go! My first full day 
at the Academy. Oh, good morning. Oh, oh, gosh! Did I wake you up? I'm so sorry I didn't mean to! This is my new roommate, Shizu Ito. Apparently, she comes from a strict family. They expect her to be a leader. <sighs> did... Did you sleep hugging your charm all night? Yeah. When I got it, they said to keep it with me. So I'm gonna hang on to it at all times, no matter what. Besides, charms are kind of warm to the touch, so it came in handy on a chilly night. Okay, weirdo. Well, I'll see you after class. <gasps> oh, right, see ya! Okay, how do I do this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Just hold still. Thanks, I appreciate it. How's your injury? Still hurt? No, it's fine now. Good. You got lucky, didn't you? <laughs> ah, good morning, <gasps> Riri. <laughs> oh, what's up? Wait, I'm sorry! How do you do? You don't need to stand on ceremony with me, but I would accept a more personal hello. More personal? <laughs> Excuse me! Would you kindly step away from my Riri? Well, look who it is. I thought you had your sights set on Miss Yu Yu, but I guess you'll settle for anyone. Rory and I were brought together by fate, and when destiny knocks, even I'm powerless against it. Is that so? Well, it certainly looks like the girl of your destiny isn't as convinced about you. I must ask you to show some restraint, Riri! Are lilies always like this? If you truly believe that the two of you are fated for each other, you may want to keep a closer eye on her. Or someone else may gobble her up. Well, you needn't worry. The bond between us isn't quite so fragile. Isn't that... correct? Riri? Where'd you go? I never really got to thank Miss Yuyu yesterday. so I don't see why not. The spa is part of the director's policy. The academy is on the front lines of the war against the huge, but it's also meant to be a sanctuary for the lilies. What do you mean? Like holy ground. A safe haven where we can be cared for, and we aren't controlled or threatened by anyone. A haven? I suppose it's atonement. The adults shouldn't have to rely so heavily on teenage girls, so they try to take care of us. There's one thing I don't get, though. It seems strange that they haven't separated us by experience or skill level, so beginners like Ruri and me have been placed in the same class as more knowledgeable lilies like you, Miss Nuva. 
<laughs> well, someone's done her homework. All in due time. And you're welcome to just call me Kaede. Huh, do you mean it? I can't believe this! The year has barely started and I'm already getting close with the head of Grand Ginyo's daughter! Oh, come now. It's not that exciting. <laughs> What's Grand Ginyo or however you said it? You mean you don't know? I even explained it to you yesterday! <laughs> Grand Guignol is a company based in France that Kaede's family runs, and they're one of the world's premier charm manufacturers. Not one of, the premier manufacturer. My father's charms are the best of the best. And if you don't believe me, just say the word Rory and I'll happily order you a finely tuned, personally designed, custom made charm of the highest quality. I know you'll love it. Oh. Hey, you disappeared after breakfast. Where'd you go? Oh, sorry. I stopped by the old building. Did you now? Were you looking for Miss Yu Yu, or was it something else? No, that's it. I really wanted her to be my ship single, so I... I see. Mm. I admire your drive, but normally it's the upperclassmen who proposes the pledge. You asked her the same thing yesterday. I'm not bound by the events of the past. The ship single pledge is a tradition at Yuri Gaoka. It's a vow of sisterhood and protection between an older lily and an underclassman. The older girl acts as the shit single or guardian angel and helps train and guide the younger girl her shield. But this morning, Miss Yuyu wouldn't even look at me. Really? It seemed to me like you were getting along fine. What if I upset her without realizing? Who knows? Her reputation for being moody certainly precedes her, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like she's not interested in a pledge with anyone in the first place. I mean, she's not even part of a legion right now. I hear she prefers to fight the huge on her own. Kaede! Will you teach me how to use my charm like a full-fledged lily? I'd be delighted! But our regular training starts tomorrow. Cut down, short stack! Short stack! All right. I promise I'll work as hard and as fast as I can. That way... I understand how you must be feeling, but you can't rush these things. Well, that's what I would say under normal circumstances. But we're facing the huge on the front line, so why wait? The reason we have a mix of beginner and veteran lilies in our classes is because we're expected to help each other improve on our own time. Does that mean... It would be my absolute pleasure to assist you in any way you need. By which you mean... I'll make an honest woman out of her yet! <laughs> hey, look what you made me say! Let's go, Kusume! Right, I won't hold back. Gold pledge already. Wow, really? <laughs> They've known each other forever. I'm pretty sure they went to junior high together. Now, how about you go ahead and draw your own charm, Riri? Okay, sure. I think I can do that. Like this. <laughs> An Yggdrasil brand Goonir charm, huh? It's a good choice for beginners. Huh? Lighter than even a hummingbird's feather, sharper than a bee stinger, and yet stronger and harder than tempered steel. Now this is a charm. Yep. Grand Guignol pretense if I've ever seen it. Pretense? Ah! Training on your own so soon? Impressive. Miriam, why are you here? Oh, just a charm tune up. I've come in every single day since I got here. You can tune up charms? Well, I can. I'm in the Arsenal Division. Not only that, but she's a super accomplished lily to boot! I can't believe you don't know the great Miriam Hilda's our uh, Fumi, I think your nose is bleeding. Um, are you quite well? Oh, don't worry. I've been doing that on and off since yesterday! Oh, you've got some magic stored up. You seem to be very capable and honest. How can you tell that? Your magic changes with your nature, and charms will learn their owner's magic through proximity. 
So in essence, a lily's charm eventually becomes an extension of her body. Wow. I hope that's something we can achieve someday. Hmm, even if your talents don't lie in combat, take solace in the fact that you wouldn't be Yuri Gaoka students if they weren't something special about you. Uh, I hope you're right about that. I am, and I know Kaide feels the same way. And if she hasn't said anything to that effect yet... Hmm, it's because insecure people are easier to manipulate. <sighs> Kaide is surprisingly unscrupulous. Hey! Don't write that down! What's wrong with you? If you're still interested in how charms work, why not stop by the Arsenal Division? Miss Moyu would be ecstatic to tell you all about them. Well? It'll do just fine. It was a touch shaky, so I tightened up some of the gully works for you, but you're still gonna need to replace the barrel after another sortie or two. I always forget to do that, so don't pull a me. Oh, and you're welcome. Right. Thank you. Really don't think it would kill you to be a little friendlier. Welcome to the Arsenal Division! I had no idea there was so much stuff underground. Are you in, Miss Moyu? Uh, that's really bright. How do you do? Give me just a sec. Gonna get this blade tempered and I'll be right with you, okay? How's it going? Riri and Kayade, right? Uh, and you're a... Uh... Oh, let me, let me put the bell off. Nice to meet you, Fumi. You came at the perfect time. Come on, let's see how you turned out. would be the spells you need to channel your power. Every charm has them engraved. When Maji flows through a lily's body into her weapon, these spells are what activate it to let her cleave through the Maji that supports the huge. Makes sense. So then... Lily's powers manifested when the huge showed up. It stands to reason that our strength comes from the same source. Not that we're sure yet, but I assume you know that. I think I've heard about this. We've got these, too. Here. Huh? A charm gun barrel. Look closely. The spells on these are etched into the rifling. That way the bullets themselves don't need to be engraved. They get all the magic they need when they're fired. Without those spells, you're dead in the water. A well-built charm is the only thing standing between a lily and the huge. But if you're me, you break the dang thing. Are you sure you got your heart set on a shoot single pledge with Yu Yu of all people? Yes. But now she won't even give me the time of day. But, hey, uh, can you tell me what kind of charm Miss Yu Yu has now? It's a Bryonac. What did she use two years ago? That was a Dine Slave. <sighs> Do you know anything about why Miss Yu Yu changed her charm? If that's your question, you'll have to ask her about it directly. But you made it, so you do have some idea, right? Sure I do, but I'm not gonna tell ya. Okay, but why not? Well, I'm not gonna go around talking about her private affairs to everyone who asks, now am I? <sighs> Lilies are public entities funded by tax dollars, but we still have our privacy. Our personal information is sealed until we age out of the job. Unless we disclose it ourselves, that is. Psychological stability directly impacts combat efficacy, so when you're dealing with sensitive teenage girls, that policy's probably for the best. Miss Yu Yu doesn't exactly come off as a delicate flower. She's too delicate. So much so that she even withdrew from... You know, I shouldn't have said that. You'll have to get the rest from the source. If she'll tell you, that is. Right. I've been meaning to ask, why are you so fixated on her? I met her once a couple years ago. But now, it's like she's become a totally different person. It's weird, and I can't figure it out. So I have to ask. Even if it's something Miss Yu Yu doesn't want to answer? Do you think you're supposed to fix her? Or save her from something? That may just be your ego talking. Maybe. 
But I still want to try to understand. Something happened that made her shut down. And now it seems like she's carrying so much pain. So I'm sorry. But I can't stand by and watch her hurt. <sighs> well, if you've made up your mind, then I suppose you'll just have to risk it. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Miss Yuyu will leave my poor Riri emotionally devastated. But then she'll be primed for a rebound! And guess who that will be? She won't be able to resist! Careful, genius. You said the quiet part out loud. Wait a second! Miss Yu Yu, I want to ask if you would please make a shit single pledge with me. My entire life changed when you rescued me two years ago. You're the reason I became a lily in the first place. Of course, you're free to idolize whomever you like, but you should understand that doesn't automatically entitle you to anyone's time or effort. But I... There's a reason I haven't made a should single pledge with anyone. Someone like you would hinder my tactical capabilities. Is that what you want? Kaidi, <gasps> stop! Please don't! Oh, did she block me again? <laughs> What a shit single pledge is supposed to be! How dare you! It's a covenant made to communicate mutual love and care across generations of lilies! Not some cold-hearted tactical alliance that you only make for short-term gain! Am I wrong? Look at yourself! A kind-hearted girl like Riri would actually do a selfish fool like you some good! I see. Very well then. <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? I'm accepting your proposal. I will agree to be Riri's guardian angel, and I will allow her to become my shield. Thank you for your input. Miss Yuyu. This has been enlightening. Thank you. <gasps> You're so much nicer than I gave you credit for! What a kind thing to do! Ah, no, what have I done? I've lost everything! You're so cool! I was totally oh, really? wrong about you before! Y yes? You'd better be sure about this. I am! Thank you! I swear I won't let you down! Do you still need to wash somewhere you can't quite reach? I would be more than happy to lend a helping hand. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything about this before, but you know the way you look at Ruri is kind of sinister. What nonsense! My gaze is as pure as the driven snow! So I'm sure you'll be aware of your hands at all times, and you won't slip just to touch her in weird places. Uh, interfering, Lil. There are no weird places on Ruri's body! She's perfectly normal! She's got a point, Fumi. We're both girls after all. Wait! You really don't mind? I still have concerns. Why don't you just think of it as my reward for helping Riri earlier? <laughs> what are you, a dog? What was that? Listen, Riri, there are all sorts of people in the world. It goes without saying that all orientations should be accepted and welcomed, but you still need to respect those around you and keep your lust under control. I'm fairly certain that's what this shrimp was trying to tell you. <laughs> Even other shrimp call me a shrimp! Curse all of you hip queens! What a racket. Welcome back. Uh, oh, thanks! What's up? <laughs> Sounds like you had a good day. Uh, sure did. I get to be a lily, I got into Yuri Gauka, and everyone here has been so nice to me. It's such a dream come true. That good, huh? <laughs> and it's only your second day here. Yeah. I just feel lucky to be a part of this. Are you punishing yourself? 
Or do you think there's something to be gained here on the back of your underclassmen? I suppose, either way, congratulations. I was touched and more than a little surprised to hear that you were willing to make a pledge with some girl you barely even know. Look, this isn't something that I wanted to do. Really? And yet you'll allow her to get close to you in spite of that? If I have to. I don't think she'll understand things any other way. Oh, how scary. I didn't know you were so heartless. Yes, I'm a cruel woman. A should single pledge with the likes of me. She's going to regret it. I guess I have to step up my game so I can fight alongside you as soon as possible. But I'm such a beginner, I don't even know what my first rare skill is, so maybe I should figure that out first. <laughs> uh, I asked Fumi about hers, and apparently it's called Hawkseye. In battles, she can see all kinds of stuff from super far away. So, uh, what's your rare skill, Miss Yu Yu? It's called Lunatic Trancer. Uh... That's my special skill. Although, it seems wrong to call it a skill to begin with. What do they think they're doing flirting like that in public first thing in the morning? Looks a little too awkward to be flirting, in my opinion. Hmm? Why are you taking notes on this? I'm writing a column about them to run in the next issue of uh... Weekly Lily News. You're no less of a stalker than I am, are you? Well, I'd be interested in reading that. I can't believe she won Yu Yu over in under two days. Mary's infinitely charming. That's nothing for her. And I'm sorry you are. The name's Mai T. Yoshimura. I'm a second year here. Then please excuse my discourtesy, Miss Mai. Still, though, Lee Yu Yu Shirai. Your Hawkseye skill is quite impressive. Watch closely. <gasps> Missiles! The Defense Force's preliminary assault. But it's not possible to effectively damage a huge with that kind of firepower. It just slows them down a little. Is it my imagination? Or is it heading this way? Keep in mind that this institution isn't simply a lily training facility. Our backyard is also our battlefield. Oh, I remember. We try to draw the huge towards the school to reduce damage in regular towns. Yes, and with the sheer volume of magic concentrated on these grounds, I'm sure it's difficult for the huge to ignore our presence. Quit wasting time! Keep up! You're being a little harsh on us newbies right off the bat, aren't you? If she keeps teasing us like that, I might just fall in love. I'm sorry, but Miss Sora has mine. That's enough chit-chat. Let's focus. Looks like Alpine is setting up to engage using the Neufeld tactic. The nine of them built up a magi sphere by passing it back and forth, then smashed it into the huge. Like Fumi said, that's the Neunveld tactic. I won't hold back. On guard. Yes! Got it! Like this? <laughs> Don't forget, the huge are organisms controlled by the power of magi. That is the same power that we wield as lilies. It is your own body, not your weapon, that gives you the ability to fight. So remember that without magi, a charm is nothing more than a knife. Right! Okay! You're responsible for the flow. You can make your weapon stronger. If you focus. <sighs> Too much for an amateur to handle! Try to hold out a little longer next time, understand? I'll try... <laughs> On your feet. You're being awfully rough, aren't you? Sadist though you may be, please recall this is a training ground. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Miss Yu Yu. Thanks to that lunatic trancer skill of yours, you've slaughtered countless huge and become one of Yurigaoka's top assets. Uh, but
But they say in your trance you even mercilessly attack other lilies. This isn't the time. It's fine. I'm up. Keep going. I'm so far behind everyone else. I have to get stronger no matter what. So please, let me keep trying. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, Rari, you poor thing. You're covered in bruises head to toe. Just look at you. Here and here. Oh my, even Come here. On, stop, <laughs> not bruise there. So help me understand something here, Riri. You have plenty of time to improve, so why let Miss Yu Yu torture you? You would have done the same a few days ago. I can't slack off after making our pledge. And besides, I still don't know anything about her, and this gives me a chance to learn. Hmm. Huh? Hey, you're Miss Yu Yu's shield, aren't you? I'm genuinely impressed you managed to snag her. My congratulations. I'm so close to the Alpha Girls! You have perfect timing. You've known Miss Yu Yu a while, so tell us about her. Well, we were in different buildings when we were in junior high. But there's the big thing everyone knows about. Oh, the rescue in Koshu. Wait, really? I remember hearing about that. Most of Koshu fell to an awful huge attack about two years ago, right? Yuri Galka sent a bunch of their best legions, but everyone who engaged suffered heavy losses. And I heard that that's what caused the previous super powerful generation of Alfheim to disband. I wanted to do some interviews, but the upperclassmen don't like to talk about it. You've got guts to flat out ask them. Even though she was still a third year in junior <laughs> high, Miss Yuji was allowed on the mission. Sounds like you know the rest. It was during this battle that Miss Yuji lost her shoot single. You were awfully rough on the new girl today. What's the deal? I can't help it. This is just how I am. With that attitude, she'll come to hate you. You know, I wouldn't mind. I get it. You're scared of the new girl, aren't you? So you're pushing her away. You're terrified to accept her. You're wrong. I just want... I'm sorry. Hey, take a look out there. The Oshino tree bloomed late again. She's been training nonstop for a week now. Generous of you to call this training. I'm afraid of Riri. Ridiculous. enough for today. Uh, Time to go. Yes! Uh, where? We're on duty today, as I'm sure you recall. Uh, right! So let's prepare. Uh, um, do we really have time for this right now? A lily from Yuri Gauka Girls Academy must always look graceful on the battlefield. We're representatives of a prestigious institution, after all. Hey, Miss Yu, that's a little too tight. Sorry, I don't normally do this. It looks as though we have some time before it makes landfall, don't you think? I didn't know you were on duty today. Of course I am. They usually deploy by Legion, but we're a group of freelance lilies who haven't joined one yet. It's a pretty common sight this early in the year. Is Fumi coming too? Fumi doesn't have any combat experience yet, so she'll be watching from the sidelines. Do your best out there, everyone! You'll be the only real first-timer, Riri. I won't let you down, promise! You should stay behind as well. Huh? You'll be in the way. Observe from here. Uh, are you sure? 
After all their training, you would think she would make up her mind. Somehow this huge looks even more twisted than they usually do. It jumped? No doubt about it. It's been restored. Ah, uh, looks like a restore to me. I'm given to understand they've been appearing much more frequently as of late. <laughs> you startled me! Uh, how do you do? What are you doing here? Uh, and what is a restore exactly? We may be an arsenal division, but we're still lilies, you know. We have every right to be here. Just observing while we're off duty. So, huge that sustain heavy damage but still survive can escape back to their nest for repairs before they kick it. We call them restored huge, or sometimes just restores. These things have survived multiple battles, so they're obviously no pushovers. <gasps> Is he used fighting it alone? Yeah, and she's placing herself in jeopardy. She's incredibly skilled, but she's charging way too far ahead of the others. <laughs> an extension of her body. She would only let go of it if she... <laughs> hey, fall back! That's enough! using lunatic trancer. Once a lily enters that trance, she loses all sense of self and reason. It's a berserker mode. She'll destroy friend and foe alike until her magie is exhausted. Yu Yu locked that skill away years ago. And what possessed her to use it now? All those charms that lost their owners? I'm sure that brought up some bad stuff. You mean... When she was in junior high school, Yu Yu's shoots and Because Yu Yu had activated Lunatic Trancer at the time, she was the primary suspect, not the huge. That's horrible. Apparently, they found wounds on the body that would have been consistent with Yu Yu's charm at the time. In the end, Yu Yu was cleared due to a lack of evidence. But her memories on the matter are still pretty hazy, and she's been punishing herself ever since. <gasps> I can do this, and I understand her better now. Whoa! Hang on! 
You use charm. Their respective magi must have mentally linked them. I've never heard of anyone using a charm in that particular manner. But it is conceivable. <sighs> I know I'm new at this, but I can't stand by and do nothing. Miss Yu Yu saved me once before. Now it's my turn to save her. You're, you're completely unhinged! This means you have to let me help you bathe later. Guess we're all going. Shall we be off, Yuja? Mm. I'm kind of feeling like I should have brought my own charm uh, now. I ought to be out there alongside them! <laughs> <laughs> Creature consumed by hatred. It doesn't matter. Even if you hurt, you're still my sister. I'm right here. Riri. We're gonna jump, okay? Right. Let's get out of here. Yoshino cherry trees need a cold winter and a warm spring to blossom on time. I'm told they used to bloom in March like clockwork, a symbol of the changing of the seasons. But the seasons aren't clearly defined anymore. It's been cold for a long time. They must be confused about when to flower. So pretty. She was your shit single? Yes. My big sister. Uh, Mi Suzu. Kawasoe. Oh, 
Honestly, you've always been so reckless. Me, Susu. Sister. You have to be more careful from now on. Overdo it again, and that power of yours could destroy you too. I don't blame you, okay? Don't worry. This is our destiny. I will see you again. Hey, <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna borrow this. Hope that's okay. back. You're sitting in the dark again? You know you'll ruin your eyesight that way. I heard you sorteed earlier today. Good work out there. Thank you, Matsuri. Yes, I'm proud of what I did today. Did you just say thank you? No way! Say it again! Why? Oh, come on! I can't remember the last time you were so nice about anything. Are you sure? I'm the same as always. soon yes are you ready i'm fine don't worry about it i could prepare more if i wanted to but right now i'm perfectly happy to sit here looking at your face <laughs> she's completely slacking off now what do i do i didn't expect her to let herself go right after making our pledge that was careless of me oh, how do you do how do you do yuri <laughs> how do you do yuri who's that did she mistake you for somebody else uh no, here is our couple name. Uh, sorry, our what? Here is a weekly Lily News Extra issue. See, when you line up our names like that, you can read them as Yuri instead. <laughs> and I mean, Lily didn't have to take it that far, but you know how it is. Yuri's <laughs> Yuri, huh? Hey, Yuri, let's run! Right. Yes. I'm fine. Talk soon. Was that your mother? M yeah. It's sweet of her to stay up to call you. It must be about 11 o'clock at night in Iceland. Yeah, she's a warrior, so she calls me every day. <clears throat> it sounds like she really cares about you. I guess. But I'm also pretty clumsy compared to my older and younger sisters. You know... I think she just worries. Riri, there's a project I want you to take on. Sure! Just say the word! I want you to form a legion. Great! I'm on it! Wait, a legion? What exactly are they again? Ah! Hey there, Fumi! Hi! Uh, how do you do? <laughs> Fumi, if you don't mind... <laughs> Uh, right! A legion is a combat unit of lilies formed by lilies and generally composed of nine members who battle together. And one more thing. Uh, ma'am? The story. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're totally welcome. Okay, so why do you want me to make a legion? Your performance has been slipping lately. Mm. I believe acting more like a proper lily would be good for you. That makes sense. <gasps> Got it. You can leave everything to me! I'm gonna make the best legion ever! I don't honestly expect her to be able to recruit anyone, but sometimes failure can be a valuable experience. I want nothing but the best for your personal legion! <laughs> this sounds like fun! I wanna help out! That would be great! Let's do it! Okay. 
Okay, that's not what I meant. All right, what's eating you today? Huh? In the same time it took me to fire six shots, you fired ten. Somebody must be anxious. Well, maybe. I see you still like watching people. Duh! I love all of you. Of course I'm gonna keep an eye on ya. I see. Having your shield do all the legwork to form a legion for you, huh? Nice going. Not for me. I was trying to encourage Riri to go form one for herself. Yeah, that sounds more like you. So hey, you don't mind if I join then, do ya? You can't be serious. <laughs> I think it would make the most sense for us to try asking our classmates first. Mm-hmm. Okay. First year Camellia class. Uh, how about her? You're Tazusa Ando, right? <laughs> you want me to join Riri's new legion? How sweet of you to offer. Shiori Rokaku. Mm. She's a skilled fighter nicknamed the Unshakable Sword Princess. Would you mind? But, uh, I gotta tell you it's Miss Yuyu's Legion, not mine if that matters. We think you'd be a great fit considering you're already Vice Commander of another Legion. Wait, seriously? I think I messed up. It's true, sorry. But I'm positive you're going to assemble a wonderful group of girls. <sighs> Are you going to join a Legion, Shinlin? I am. I think it would be a great idea for you, too, as an exchange student and all. Mm. By the way, have you seen this? The Weekly Lily News. You really read this? Yuri. At the end of the last battle, you saw it too, right? Yeah. Their skills are mismatched, and they're completely out of sync. But they were strangely compelling. Yeah. Sorry, am I boring you? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't mean that. <sighs> oh, it's just a cat. If you want to come with me, I have treats. <laughs> What's going on, Flimmy? Oh, Tazusa! <laughs> you left before we got <laughs> Flimmy, what was all that? Hello, girls. I hear you're recruiting members for a brand new Legion. Huh? Again. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, Riri? <laughs> uh, hmm. Arya! So, you're already an Alpine, right? I think. Are you coming on to my Kusumi? <laughs> You've got some nerve. Oh no, I'm afraid you must be mistaken. I don't recall giving Kusumi to you. You're so sweet, big sis. If you don't mind, would you kindly step away from my darling Riri? <gasps> Good afternoon! Kaede? <laughs> I can respect Miss Soraha, but Riri isn't exactly <gasps> yours, is she? Why, whatever do you mean? Riri and I are in the same legion. <gasps> so it's only natural that I would defend her virtue. <gasps> are you sure? Come on, let's go, dear. Uh, sorry. How do you do, How everyone? do you do? What is Kaede Nouvelle doing with a couple of rookies? I don't get it. Well, there's no wholesome reason, I can assure you that much. I don't think you have any room to talk. I'll eat you up, Kusumi. No one's eating anyone. I heard through the grapevine that the current Alfheim lineup was invited to join while they were all still in middle school. Really? That's amazing. Yep. Well, that's Kaede down, so who's next? Hang on! That makes it sound like you're taking me joining for granted! No! That's huh. not it at all! Just happy to have four of us. Huh? But don't we only have three so far? <sighs> There's Miss Yuyu, Ruri, and Kaede. And you! Huh? Are you for real? Don't forget that you're as much a Yuri Galka Lily as the rest of us. <gasps> oh, wow! I'm so honored! I never thought that a weightless student like me would be invited to join a legion with so many incredible lilies! Five more to go! Let's do our best! And that's the shrimp. So, next! 
might be out of my depth. Putting together a legion takes way more than I thought. Hey, Shizu, do you want to join? Sorry, I can't. I have to keep a promise to myself. I always said I'd have my own legion in high school. Everyone's so much more ambitious than me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you have Kaede in your legion, don't you? Uh, yeah, why? Good for you. According to the rumor mill, she's already gotten invitations from eight other legions. What? She never said anything about that to me. And you have Fumi Futagawa. Yeah? I understand that she has an incredibly useful rare skill called Hawk's Eye. Lots of parties are interested in her. Oh, wow. How do you know that? Gathering and analyzing intel is a talent of mine. Everyone is so amazing. Am I the only one who's nothing special? Listen, I've been thinking and thank you both. For what? Where did this come from all of a sudden? I feel like I've been relying on you two for everything. Well, I can see how hard you're working. And I know it's not purely for your own sake. No, I'm doing my best for Miss Yu Yu too. See, and we're here for you. Well, 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 what have we here? Seems I stumbled on some mild melancholia. What do you want, shrimp number two? Number two? Am I number one? Miss Moyu sent me over here. Let's hear about this legion of yours. I mean, it's actually Miss Yu Yu's legion. I'd and... like to enlist if that would strike your fancy. <laughs> Just like that? Really? Are you serious? As a heart attack, I've always been fascinated by how Miss Yu Yu does battle. Although I was under the impression she didn't want to join any legion. Sign here and we'll be set. Hmm. And Bob's your uncle. Thank you so much! <laughs> it's all happening so fast! That's a fine effort, ladies! Yay! Adorable! <laughs> you want me to join your legion, Hitotsu Yanagi? Shen Lin Kuo, Camellia class, a lily from Taipei who was accepted to Yuri Gaoka back in junior high through the student exchange program. She may be a first year yeah, like but us, but her combat abilities are held in very high regard. Well, I'm certainly flattered. Uh, does that mean? I humbly accept your invitation, yes. <laughs> Thank you, we're excited to have you! Uh, please call me Riri. You got it, Riri. And, what's your name? Sorry, me? She looks like Yu Zhou Wang. She's also a first year, but in a different class. She's from Reykjavik, Iceland. And her older and younger sisters are both accomplished lilies, too. Oh, there's no way I compare to my sisters. They're both great, but Well, I... how about it? If Shen Ling is on board, do you want to join, too? Uh, me? Join a legion? If you're not confident about it, don't do it. Yeah, I won't then. <laughs> Someone's obedient. But, but why not? If Shenlin thinks I shouldn't, she's probably right. Oh, so have you two known each other for a long time? No, we first met this spring. Wait, then how can you... In order to become a lily, and to make sure I stay a lily, I've worked myself to the bone. I know what I'm doing. And so... I can recognize when others aren't ready yet. Uh, I may not have experience or natural talent. And I definitely don't have your confidence, Shenlin, but that doesn't seem fair. You know? And that's why I won't judge anyone until I see what they can do! You're being obstinate again. <clears throat> of course, that is part of your charm. <sighs> <laughs> Goodness. Well, in that case, how about we take a walk and see exactly what Yuja can do, hmm? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sound so demanding! No, thank you, Hitotsu Yanagi. Let's go. I'll try it. Huh? Shenlin, is that okay? Certainly. Just as long as you let me decide how we do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Part of what's bothering me is that both of my sisters are still actively fighting the huge back home in Iceland. Of the three of us, I was the only one told to leave our homeland. And since then, I've kind of felt like they don't even need me anymore. I'm sorry. 
Yurigalka is a world-class garden, and I'm lucky to be here. It's just, I want to defend my home, and having that opportunity taken away from me is hard. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh. <coughs> okay, Yucha. Can you see me all right? Uh, yeah. Good. I want you to shoot me from there. What? Use training rounds. It'll be fine. No, it won't. Load ten shots. If you can hit me, I'll withdraw my opposition. Do you understand? Don't worry. You're gonna do a great job. Why not tell her that directly? Thank you for joining us to observe, Miss Yu Yu. Don't mention it. I'm doing it as a favor for Riri. The wind. Su Yucha! You must like cats! What? Uh... Mm -hmm. That little kitty is super cute! Thanks. Would you hold this for me? Huh? Sure. Heaven's measure. The ability to identify and focus in on distant objects with perfect accuracy. She should take more pride in her rare skill. Long-range sniping? That's cool, what's the target? Shenling. What? Go on, Yucha. Fire. Fire, and prove that you belong among first-rate lilies. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait! You can't do that! It's too dangerous! I have to. You and Shinling gave me a chance to show you what I can do. And I'm not going to take that for granted. is about one kilometer away, and her Asterion fires bullets at roughly 1,800 meters per second. That gives me enough time to blink. And if she's accurate, I can dodge. I see, that's not a bad plan. But you aren't using your usual charm? I want it to be an even playing field. will be blown off course. The wind again. Should I wait? No, I can do it. Proud, Yuja. Well done. Thank you. Now it should be obvious to everyone that you're an amazing lily, and that includes you. <laughs> you did it! I have to thank you, Riri. Uh, uh. I did want to join your legion before, but I didn't think I was ready. Plus, you complimented my cat charm. You're thanking me for that? Yeah, it was nice. I appreciate you being here. Thanks again. Sure, you both performed admirably. You know what? I was actually jealous of Yuja. Born into an elite family, and blessed with natural talent. But she was so nervous about living up to her name that she had no confidence. Like, who does she think she is, right? Doesn't that bug you so much? <laughs> Were you angry with her this whole time? Yeah. But after all that, I feel relieved. I realize that I'm not one to talk. But you're not the most straightforward person, are you? Yeah, I get that a lot. Shenling, thank you for everything today. You're very welcome. And sorry, huh? I heard that 
Your entire country was wiped out by the huge a long time ago. It was. I've never actually known my homeland. I was insensitive. I didn't... <laughs> Has that really been bothering you? <sighs> I've found a comrade I can trust to watch my back from now on. And not everyone gets to be so lucky. So if you are happy, then so am I. <laughs> yeah. I feel the same way. I'm glad I'm here. We're up to seven now. We only need to round up two more to make it official. I wish everyone could be suckered in as easily as Miriam here. You'd best watch that tongue before it gets bitten off. Two more. I feel like this is shaping up to be an unstoppable legion. My sincerest apologies for summoning you at this hour. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm pretty much awake around the clock these days anyway. Well, don't push yourself too hard. Now, your report, please. Oh, you know, we've got a funny new first year in Arsenal Division. She talks super weird sometimes. It kind of reminds me of you acting, Chairman. <gasps> oh, you're not related, are you? No, I can't say I know the young lady. Boy, you. Oh, come on. I'm allowed to make conversation. <clears throat> As you know, it's been half a century since the Huge first appeared around the world and became humanity's number one priority. But we haven't made any headway on figuring out their behavior or goals as a collective species. The truth is, we've had our hands full dealing with them as they show up. Maybe our mistake is thinking of them as one species. Mm. Perhaps a Huge are much more diverse than we mm. thought. See, that's what I thought. There are all sorts of theories floating around about what they are and where they came from, and it can get kind of overwhelming. So I decided to use a slightly wider lens to look for possible correlations. Huh? Here's what I got. See? Okay. Now check this out. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is... How's your shield doing? Seems like she's working hard. I think I miscalculated. You didn't think she'd succeed? I just never expected people to flock to her so easily. It sounds like you have an easier time dealing with huge than with people. That's Yuri Gauka's ace for you. That's not very nice to say. <laughs> yeah. This cat. It'll eat right out of my hand, but won't let me pet it. Well, looks like this could be your chance then. Sure, but that would seem cowardly to try while it's asleep. Why? What are you planning to do with it? You gonna eat it? As if. Okay, then stop acting like you're in battle. This kind of sneak attack is totally fine. I guess when you put it that way. And try not to be so hostile. Animals can be sensitive to that kind of thing. I can't be anything but me, and Tazusa Ando's always hostile. Hmm. I'm Maite Yoshimura, a second year. <laughs> She's always giving and generous, but I've never done anything for her. That doesn't feel quite right. Sorry, what? What do you do to show someone how you feel? I'm not very good at such matters. I see. You want to do something nice for Riri, huh? How did you know who I meant? You shouldn't be so surprised. It wasn't exactly some great mystery. I haven't seen you like this in a long time. But I remember that you avoid eye contact when you get nervous. I guess I am. I never thought that I would make another shoot single pledge. So I'm not sure what comes next. Well, think about it. In the last pledge you made, you were a shield. Remember what that was like for you. Maybe Miss Misuzu can give you some ideas. Nobody liked when we tried to recruit members individually, so we set up a table. But it doesn't seem like anybody likes our booth either. I think the problem is that we're well into June. 
I'm sure most lilies have already chosen their legions at this point. Yeah, the only ones who haven't are the eccentric, weird, lone wolf kind of girls. <gasps> Two at your six! <sighs> Beggars can't be choosers, right? Hey! Huh? Uh, you girls still trying to rustle up a few members to round things out? Yeah, we need two. Do you want to join us, Miss May? You're freelance. Nah, I gotta pass. I've really enjoyed just doing my own thing lately. Oh, please reconsider. She told you no. Oh, I'm really sorry, don't be mad! <laughs> I guess in that case, perhaps we're fine with seven. I want to try at least a little longer. We're so close to meeting the quota. I didn't think it would be this difficult. <sighs> Looks like you've been working hard, Miss Moyu. Yeah, I've stayed up with the acting chairman every night this last week. Wait, not like in a weird way or anything. Just, you know, reports and stuff. And you go straight back to work in the lab afterwards? That work ethic never ceases to amaze me. Your research includes everything from charms and Naji to the huge themselves. It's certainly more than I can manage. Well, it has to. All that stuff is connected. And it looks like those connections reach deeper and further and crisscross in every direction way more than we originally thought. <laughs> You've grown incoherent. I think it's time you got some shut-eye. No, I have to stay awake now, otherwise I'm gonna miss Gropy talking exactly like the acting chairman. Sorry, Gropy? <laughs> Gropy is... Oh, come now! What's wrong, Riri? You tired? No, not at all! Everything is fine! If there's anything I can do for you, then please... Riri! Hi, Day! Oh, I didn't see you, Miss Yu Yu. How do you do? How do you do? Where did you run off to? I found this! Check it! What is it, a cutting board? No, that would be a tablet computer. Wow, I've never seen one before. Apparently, back in the old days, everybody had personal technology like this. Let's see what it can do! Ready? What is all this stuff? Lily's top secret information! Plus the ingenuity of human hey, eyes! Please don't look! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I need to be so weird! It's not the way to stay! June 19th? Alright. Riri's birthday is tomorrow. Here. Happy birthday, Yu Yu. Open it. A pendant? Hold still. <laughs> As a shoot single, it feels important that I give my shield a birthday gift, but I don't know where to start. Yeah, and you don't have much time to figure it out. I don't know Riri well enough yet to know what she likes or what would make her happy. Uh, how about this? It's freshly harvested. Do you know anything that could be useful, like Riri's hobbies or favorite snacks? Now that you mention it, I do recall that she enjoys ramune. Ramune? I've never tried this stuff myself. You mean the carbonated beverage in a glass bottle with a marble in the cap that you must push down to open? I can't say that I've ever heard someone give such a formal definition of a soft drink before. I'm not very familiar with such things. Frankly, you may be fretting over nothing. She will surely love any gift that comes from you. <laughs> That's right. Ramune is Ruri's favorite. She'll share them with us every now and then. The tingly feeling you get when they fizz and melt in your mouth is so much fun. I thought it was a drink. What am I missing? But no matter what, as long as it's a present from you, Miss Yu Yu, there's no doubt in my mind Ruri will absolutely love it. Ramune? Oh, yeah. She buys Ramune candy at the school store all the time. Why are you asking me about it? Please forgive the imposition. I was under the impression that you and Riri were friendly with each other. We're classmates, but outside of that, I only ever see her on my way to buy cat food. I wonder, would Riri be happy to get the same candy she can buy herself? I'm pretty sure Hitotsu Yonagi will love anything you pick for her, Mishirai. 
She'll be glad to know you care. Don't overthink it. Wow. Even you can't resist the siren song of school store <laughs> snacks. I understand that Riri likes Romani, so I wanted to give some to her for her birthday. But now I worry that just handing her something I bought would be too plain or boring. Not that I don't I'm really get what you're so twisted up here, about, but, it but if it's a present, like the wrapping paper is right there. Hmm? Will this be good enough for her? Aw, that must be a present for Riri. Who are you? My apologies, Miss Yuyu. Of course. My name is Shiori Rokaku. I'm one of Riri's classmates. Tomorrow is her birthday, isn't it? I'm surprised you knew that. I like putting in the effort to get to know all of my classmates. Would you like me to help you wrap that for her? I may not look it, but I'm actually pretty handy. No, thank you. I think I ought to do it myself. That makes sense. I could still give you some pointers if you like. Oh, sure. In that case... <sighs> what do you think? It's beautiful. Thank you so much for your advice. Oh, I only gave you some tips to help you express your feelings. I know she's going to love it, Miss Yu Yu. I do wish I could have found some real Romani to give her, but the shop doesn't have it, and I don't know where else to look. I see. I have heard that bottled Romani isn't manufactured as widely these days, but... If Riri likes it, and we can't find it at school, then it must have been available where she grew up, right? Yeah. At least I would assume so. Of course, her hometown. This looks like the area we cleared in the Koshu evacuation. I wonder how many of them stayed. Excuse me, please. I'm looking for a shop in this area that might carry Ramune soda. Ramune, huh? It's in the bin right next to you, Missy. Much obliged. <laughs> you a lily little missy? I ain't seen that uniform around these parts before. Seems awful stuffy. It's not as bad as it looks. We were able to keep most of our town afloat here, thanks to you girls. But everyone across the way there packed up and evacuated the first chance they got. There used to be a kid around here who would always stop in for Ramune. She loved the stuff. Thank you. That was delicious. I would like another bottle to take back with me, please. If you're a lily, you take as many as you like. I do appreciate the sentiment, sir. But please allow me to pay for it. <laughs> Actually, could I get one more?
So tell me something. Why haven't you joined a Legion? Uh, what made you so curious about it all of a sudden? It seemed pretty obvious. You went out of your way to check on them. <laughs> Why bother if you weren't interested? Hmm. You're a sharp one, aren't you? Not really. There's someone in that Legion I was worried about. But she seems fine now, so maybe I don't need to keep such a close eye on her anymore, you know? Huh. That's unexpected. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, because it turns out I'm more sensitive than I look. Is that so? What's this? You keep them in here, they'll stay cold and ready to enjoy once you're back home. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Find something once we get off the train. No, that'll take too long. Waiting is stupid. I want to drink hey, now. I know you can be patient. We'll be there no, soon, okay? Come on, Mom. Here you are. Oh, <gasps> no, we couldn't. It's all right. I insist. Bucky, I want one too, Dad. I'll get you one when we're home, okay, sweetie? Take it. What's up? You know this isn't part of campus. Uh, what are you doing out? There's a spot up here where the neighborhood cats hang out, so I'm showing my underclassmen the way. And thanks to her, they might actually accept me now. Well, I'm glad to see you getting along. What? So you're cool with us breaking school rules? It's not my job to worry about that. And besides, I wouldn't have the energy anyway. And Rari's pretty lonely, so... What? For starters, she still hasn't filled those two Legion openings. And on top of that, it's her birthday, but you've been MIA since this morning. But I understand. I bet you were out hunting for Ramune, weren't ya? How did you know that? There aren't a whole lot of great excuses for you to leave this particular shield all alone on her birthday. But I... Well, I suppose you do have a point there. That's what I'm saying! Now hurry up and go give her that present! <laughs> Jeez, sounds like you had a tough day. But, you got a good deed in. I certainly don't regret anything. Yeah, sometimes you just get unlucky. Huh? Huh? There. What's up? Are those... Uh. Huh? It's in low power mode. Ramane. Uh, uh, oh, you, you! <sighs> well, well, well. So this is what all the fuss is about. Did you really go through all this trouble for me? Heck yeah, you like it? That's so super sweet! I guess you found that Ramane vending machine over by the main gate, didn't you? Uh, of course yes, she knew. That certainly makes sense. I always go buy one for myself whenever I have a day off. Doesn't look that way to me. In the end, this is just further evidence that I'm not quite as impressive as you want to think I am. What? How can you say something like that? You've been an amazing big sister to me, Miss Yu Yu! There's no need to be polite. I don't believe I could do anything on my own that would make you genuinely happy. That's not true! You totally can, and I'll prove it to you! So, uh, can I have one more thing? All right. Well... Oh, I really want this to you, Miss Yu Yu! What? Don't you think that's a little extreme? Help yourself. Right! I'm sorry. I'm still sweaty. No, you just smell like a thin yard. I was right. I don't deserve you being so kind to me. Oh my gosh, thank you! Riri, happy birthday. Oh my goodness! Hey, excuse you, that's just obscene! Oh, that's the I'm really happy, but uh, that's a little more passionate of grace. Someone, please, don't be a bystander! It was nice knowing you, dear heart. I understand that Miss Yu Yu isn't accustomed to showing affection, but I still must ask that you show some respect to Riri! 
Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> How could I not? Have you seen yourself at all today? You're hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying my best. And this is all I can do. You know that's not true. Relax! <laughs> and by the way, Riri, I know we took our time thinking about it, but Tazusa and I want to be in the Legion. Sorry we're so eccentric. Mm, okay, but I told you it's you use Legion, not mine, so... <gasps> that makes nine, so we officially have a full Legion! I could die happy! Goodness, you couldn't ask for a more pleasant surprise. Congratulations. What a mighty eventful day this has been. You know how much I love everyone already. But seeing you, you go above and beyond today makes her impossible to resist. So, Riri. Uh, what's up? I want you to think of us as another great birthday present from you, you to you. Come on, don't be weird about it. Take us. I can do that. Thank you so much. I'm really happy you decided to join us. I guess it was worth working up a sweat after all. That's so well and good, but exactly how long do you plan to cling to each other? Good evening. I can't wait to work with you. You're adorable. I'm way too excited. Even Shinlin loses composure sometimes. <laughs> She's like my family's cat. She is cute. So, everything worked out with Riri today, huh? Yes. Wait. Were you watching us? Of course not. But it's easy for me to put myself in her shoes. The big sister she adores more than anything gave her a present. It doesn't matter whether the object is something she wanted. The gesture is the gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did hear she has a full legion of nine now. Impressive. She does. You have sharp ears. I know. Thank you. She really made it look easy. It's a miracle. So, are you finally ready to acknowledge Riri as an equal? Maybe. I'm not sure. She's green and reckless, and I never know what she's going to do next. Does that excite you? What are you talking about? Making the Yuyu Shirai look so flustered is quite an impressive feat. It's her rare skill, charisma. That particular talent is best for support. It manifests exceptional leadership. <sighs> is that really a skill? No. It's still under investigation, but she did make a shoots angle pledge with a lone wolf like you. And now she's even drawn you into a legion after you swore them off. You want to talk about miracles? You're telling me she has me wrapped around her finger? Well, I'm not sure I'd go that far. <laughs> then I'll just hope that's not the case. It's not a pleasant thought. The... Hitotsu Yanagi Squad? Of course, what's wrong with the Hitotsu Yanagi Squad? Yeah, we are the Hitotsu Yanagi Squad, aren't we? Indeed, the Hitotsu Yanagi Squad it is. I was sure we were the Hitotsu Yanagi Squad. I was under that impression as well, were we wrong? Shouldn't we be the Shirai Squad instead? Either one huh? is fine. But I vote Hitotsu Yanagi. Look at it this way, we already got the sign made. In that case, we're settled on our squad name. Huh? Really? After me makes it sound like I'm supposed to be the leader. Well, you certainly won't hear any protest from me. We're all here predominantly thanks to your efforts. I guess so. Yep, but I understand your concern. I know you have a long way to go as a lily. We shouldn't underestimate how green you are. Of course, as your shoots angle, I'll pick up any slack. It's only fair. Oh, thank goodness. That makes me feel like... <laughs> Which means I intend to watch every move you make like a hawk. It's my responsibility to whip you into shape if you get lazy. Do you understand? <laughs> hey, it's all good. You're in great hands. The nerve. She makes me so jealous. Why is getting to whip our leader your thing? Do all the legions at Yuri Gauka have this sort of dynamic? I'd like to say no, but everyone's rather open here. You'll get used to it. Do you realize that because we finally have nine members, we get to start using the Neunveld tactic together? Theoretically, yes, but practically... Oh, you mean... This thing, right? Huh? What is that? That's a special bullet used to initiate the Neunveld. Wow, I've never seen one so close before! Those things are supposed to be crazy expensive. Are they really? <laughs> for the uninitiated, Neunveld is German for Nine Worlds. That bullet creates a magi sphere we then build up by passing it between our charms, which represent Nine Worlds. 
When executed correctly, it will defeat any huge in a single strike. I wonder if we could really pull that off. It may be difficult at the moment. It's a technique that requires focus and teamwork above all. Fine, I suppose we ought to shoot for the moon, as they say. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why are we studying outside today? This is the best seat in the house if you want to observe Alfheim in action. Miss Yu Yu and her shield shouldn't settle for less. She's working so hard for you. Yeah. You must be something special to make the Yu Yu Shirai go so far out of her way. Oh, I don't know about special. I'm still just a rookie. That's enough. Thank you. Sure, but don't forget you owe me one. You want to see the Noinvelt tactic, right? Sorry if we take this thing down before we get a chance to show you. By the way, Riri, have you learned what your rare skill is? Huh? Oh, no, nothing yet. I'm starting to wonder if I even have one to begin with. It's her rare skill, Charisma. That particular talent is best for support. It manifests exceptional leadership. Is that really a skill? You're telling me she has me wrapped around her finger? I see. It's nothing to worry about. Compared to my lunatic trancer, you'll be better off no matter what. Hey, don't keep beating yourself up! So you don't like your skill, but it doesn't define you! Don't you see? You're wonderful no matter what! You're right. And it's a lovely thing to believe. This thing is more cunning than I care to admit! Alfem's on the defensive now. Yes, they were reckless. It knows how to strategize. This thing can predict every move we make! Attention all units! It's making landfall! Execute the Nine Belt tactic! Now pay close attention. Right. The Nine Belt tactic is powerful, but it's only ever used as a last resort because it drains lilies and their charms of magic. The very definition of a double-edged sword. Now I, Arya Ender, shall graciously deliver the finishing blow. No way! I think it blocked the shot. But how? What in blue blazes? Of you, Miss Saraha. I hate to say this, but let's cut our losses and withdraw. Neunvelt didn't work. I've never known Alfheim to fail like that. <gasps> Rari! <laughs> Look, that huge is still heading right for us! Miss Yuya said not to slack off, so I won't wait for someone else to come to the rescue! All right then. The Hitotsu Yanagi Squad's first battle. Dear sister, please watch over us. Stunning to think that a huge could neutralize the Neunveld. Damages? Thankfully, all of our lilies survived, but seven charms were at least partially destroyed. And that alone's a major loss for us. Alfheim will have to be sidelined for the time being. My chief concern is the safety of our girls. Who's their backup? The Hitotsu Yanagi squad was unofficially observing this afternoon and has temporarily engaged. The Hitotsu Yanagi squad? A brand new legion, is it not? Yes. Highly capable individuals, but they're all fairly eccentric. I don't expect them to function as a unit yet. I doubt they can do more than buy some time. We're going to synchronize like we practiced. Right! Yes, ma'am! Are some pretty old injuries. Another restore? Ah! What in the world is that light? Uh, 
something in there? have a good reason for abandoning her shield. She does. Lunatic transfer. That's it. I have to go to her. Really? No! She's so dangerous! <laughs> Miss Yu Yu! <laughs> Miss Yu Yu, you have to fall back! Please, you're bleeding! Disengage! It's too irresponsible to rush in without a plan! Don't you dare lower your guard! <laughs> it's okay, I'm not hurt, see? Miss Mai and the others rescued me and I came back for you. <laughs> now let's get out of here! That charm belongs to me and my sister. I can't. Cut it out! You're clear! Go back! Sorry, girls! I'll be back! Just wait for me a little! Oh! Hey, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm fine! I find that hard to believe. Did she say wait? I'm sure what she meant was for us to hold out. She may be green, but she doesn't mind pushing us. What's our next course of action? Trade places with another legion? <sighs> Surely you jest. Our leader's order was clear. Hold out or die! I don't think she asked us to go that far, but I agree with Kaide either way. That huge can't wield the charm much longer. The magic pouring out is burning it. If Miss Yuyu comes back, we can still win. Humanity discovered Magi and the Huge at the same time. It may not be a coincidence that lilies came so soon on their heels. It's been said that lilies are humans who have become huge themselves. With one difference, we didn't lose our hearts in the process. So we can control our Magi, instead of being controlled. That's all. The only thing that definitively separates us from the huge. Yu Yu, remember who you are.
miss you, you. Don't look, Riri. Please don't look at me. Lunatic Trancer doesn't deserve to be called a rare skill. What good is it? It's obscene. It ruined my life. It just makes me hate. And I don't know how to stop. I get consumed by hatred. And I can't help but hurt everything and everyone around me. I'm living under a curse. It's my fault. <laughs> Miss Me Susa would still be here if it weren't for me. It was my fault, Riri. I killed her. With that dime sling. Come on, pull yourself together for me! Go! I'm no different from a huge. Miss Yu Yu! No, get away from me! Open your eyes and look at me! Miss Me Susa died in a battle against the huge. You are not to blame, understand? You don't know what you're talking about, Riri! Stop that! I know enough! I know that you would never intentionally do anything to hurt someone you care about so much! <laughs> I need you to understand that I can't protect you. I'm not safe and I'm not worthy to be your shoot single. <laughs> I never wanted to be alone. But I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I'm a monster. You'd be better without me. Look at me. That's not true, and I can prove it. Making our shoot single pledge made me so happy. I don't understand. After what I've done, what would make you say that? How could anyone be happy to be loved by me? I'm positive Miss Misuzu felt exactly the same way. You don't know anything about her. Maybe not, but I know this. I promise, if you activate Lunatic Trancer, I'll help calm you down. No matter how long it takes, or how many times, no matter what, even if you try to hurt me, I'll be here. I'm not worthy. Thank you. It won't be able to defend the charm. You won't hold on to that dying blade forever. Well, naturally, a huge use of a charm is unthinkable. <laughs> what? Oh, crap. Huh? You guys, we have to hurry. Boss, and it's most definitely you use old charm. I recognize the scratches. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Seriously? How is it still moving? Well then, I guess we should go ahead and give it a shot. Give what a shot? The Noinbell tactic. Hey, Miss Mai, do you want to do the honors and start us off? I'm afraid I'll mess it up if I try to do it myself. <laughs> Good delegation skills. I'd be happy to. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? You're up, Boomy. Draw a bead and shoot. Ah! What am I supposed to do with this? Ah! Where do I aim? I can't hit the huge from here! No, you aim at me, dummy. Let's go! Are you insane? Make someone else do this. I've never practiced. What if I miss? That it worked! So this is what it feels like to create a magic sphere. Okay, you're next! Huh? I'm not ready! Too bad! Better 
draw that charm! I think you're a little too close, Miss Mai. Hey, you, you, and Riri pulled it off once before. And with this kind of precision, the past can't miss! <laughs> this isn't in the textbook! Outstanding! Send it my way next! <laughs> Don't be so impatient! Let's stay focused! You're up, Tazisa! Careful! I don't want to cut you! Hey, heads up, Jinling! You could have been a touch gentler! Forgive me! It's much stronger than I expected it would be! And that's just the way I like it! <laughs> I hope you're ready to accept the power of my love, Riri, darling! Gracious, they certainly didn't hold back, did they? So which Legion do you think could have pulled this off? I don't think there's been a battle in the last couple of days. My money's on cannibalism, then. I don't know. Huge are formed by the power of Magi, so they shouldn't have to eat anything, much uh. less cannibalize each other. And without all that Magi, Huge can't survive for very long at all. They simply collapse under their own weight. <laughs> Most of the soft organic tissue decomposes overnight. The bones take a bit longer. That's what we're looking at? All things considered, the smell could be worse. Something. No, nothing exciting. Though my charm felt strange. Mary, <sighs> please look behind you. to this we can't accomplish anything here while she's still asleep we've done all we can for now we should go i know 
But would it bother anyone if I stayed a little bit longer? Mm. <laughs> no, go ahead. Thank you. I didn't expect you to hang around. Uh, uh, how do you do, Miss Riri? Oh, how do you do? Um... Matsurihana, second year. Nice to meet you. Charm. Pardon, Miss Matsuri, I didn't mean to be rude. Aren't you Miss Yuyu's roommate, or am I thinking hmm? of someone else? Yuyu hasn't said anything about me? No, nothing. I'm sorry. I guess that's not surprising. Hmm. But she certainly talks about you. And you know, even if she didn't, you're pretty famous around here. Mostly in gossip and rumors, but still. Oh. Uh, let's not loiter around. Come inside with me. So, uh, what are you doing down here? I'm on the student council. They wanted someone to check in on our mystery girl. I'm not normally on med duty. Riri's taking her sweet time, isn't she? She'll be back when she's ready. She wants to help that girl. Her sense of duty is admirable. Uh, though if you're worried, why don't you go and join her? You know socializing isn't allowed in treatment rooms. So even if Riri is still there, what on earth could we do without talking? Visit the sick. I thought you'd be all... There are plenty of things we can do without talking. But that character growth is a pleasant surprise. You're right! The possibilities are endless! <laughs> Riri, what's wrong? You look a bit flustered. Has that girl woken up? Not yet. She's out like a light. No changes. But as long as I have you here, there was something I wanted to ask you before my tactical theory class. Uh, oh no! I waited too long! The lecture's about to start! Catch you later! Bye, big sis! <laughs> what, are you playing hooky today, Yu Yu? Of course I'm not. I took all the credits I could in my first year. Oh, right. Nerd alert. Farewell. <laughs> Goodness. She's so careless. Are you right when you wake up? Sorry. I'm Riri. Riri Hitotsu Yanagi. Riri. Yep, she's a lily, all right. Miss Matsuri and Miss Yuyu! <laughs> How do you do, Riri? We just got some interesting results in. Her skiller value representing her magi is 50. That's the lowest threshold to activate a charm, but a lily's a lily, yeah? Her skiller value is really only 50? That's exactly what mine was when I got accepted here. Cool coincidence. <sighs> hmm. 
How did we find a lily? <sighs> By the way, Takamatsu, we'd like to ask about the civilian you took in recently. I'm afraid you'll have to be a little more specific. What would you like to know? If a civilian was swept up in a battle with a huge, that indicates a threat to public safety. We're prepared to take full custody of the girl before word gets out. I appreciate the offer, but thankfully that won't be necessary. We have determined that the young lady is, in fact, a lily. Oh, you don't say. Why not accept anyway? No need to trouble yourself with a new student so far into the year. As I'm sure you're aware, this academy is the only local bulwark against the huge, and we alone raise the lilies who defend us. Consequently, we have been granted political autonomy with respect to national defense. What difference can a single lily make in battle? And you do realize that you're hoarding powerful weapons in one autonomous institution without civilian control or input? Surely you understand exactly how dangerous that looks to people on the outside. You don't need to tell me. The effort required to win recognition of our independence from the necessary parties defied description for precisely that reason. This academy takes in young children and trains them in combat during their formative years. We make adolescents bear the brunt of exterminating the huge. Of course that makes us dangerous. But perhaps not for the reasons you think. Apologies, but that will be recorded as problematic. In any case, you needn't worry. Lilies will never become a threat in and of themselves. I know you feel a strong duty to protect them as a member of the first generation to raise them. But keep in mind that getting too attached can cloud your judgment. If it pleases you, I'd like to pose a question. Who exactly has expressed interest in the young lady that we rescued? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Those details are none of your concern. I should certainly think otherwise. Enough. We'll call again soon. My apologies. You shouldn't have been forced to sit through that. No. As student council president, I should stay informed. To that point, may I ask you something? If it's not an imposition, what do you really think of the new girl, sir? <gasps> oh no! I forgot all about the practical drill tomorrow! Uh, Riri? No, don't call, huh? Hey, it'll be okay. I'll be back soon. Riri, please stay here. She needs to take care of other things for a while. You'll have to make do with me. No! <sighs> That's heartbreaking. What now? I can't stay in here forever! Well, I have one idea. How about we make you her official caretaker for the time being? I'll get the Academy to excuse, or at least help out with, your classwork and legion duties. Really? You would go through all that trouble for me? Sure, more than happy to. The acting chairman personally entrusted her to me, and she's much easier to care for while you're around. If it's fine with you, I'll go ahead and let your legion know. Oh, no thanks. I think I want to tell them about it myself. You're kidding. She's a lily? Did you find out who she is then? No, not yet. We kind of think she has amnesia. Forgive me if I'm overstepping my boundaries, but I think you're getting a little too attached to her. Whether I am or not, she's gotta have family and friends out there somewhere, doesn't she? But she can't remember them right now. Imagine how lonely it would be to forget all the people you love. So, you know, I thought someone should stay with her. Riri, darling. That's quite noble, but you don't have to take on that responsibility. You understand that, yes? I know. You're probably right, but I still feel... You huh? do plenty that's equally important. Don't forget that. You lead the Hitotsi Yunagi squad. <sighs> None of us can take over for you. But... I suppose we'll just have to figure it out. Take care of her, okay? <sighs> Got it! Thank you so much. I know I'm being selfish. That isn't selfishness. It's compassion. Be proud of it. Do what you feel is right. These days, all of us know someone who's been hurt. It's natural to want to reach out. If you can help, you should. She's right. I kinda envy your drive. Tell me about it. If it matters to you, you'll hear no objection from me. Ask anything of me! I'll do whatever I can for you! You guys... Thank you for everything! 
Okay, I'm up then. Hmm. She's awful at multitasking. But, you know, far be it from me to talk her out of something once her mind is made up. You said it. Never a dull moment with that one. Uh... Oh. You seem a bit out of sorts. Are you alright? Sorry? Apologies. I know you gave her your blessing, but you're still uneasy, are you not? A little. Let me guess your chest aches, right? Well, I suppose so. And is there perhaps a pit in your stomach, too? How did you know? <gasps> My goodness! It sounds like you're jealous! Me jealous? But of whom? And why? That girl! The mystery girl Riri suddenly cares so much about! You look awfully pleased with yourself. How could I not be? The aloof Miss Yu Yu, viewed by her comrades as a lone wolf, is suffering terribly from Riri withdrawals! It's hilarious! Riri what? Oh, you'll have to trust me. I have far more experience than you in that department, my dear. And you're proud of that? How goes the day, Miss Moyu? What's up, Grofy? Is it entirely necessary to call me that? Don't you think it's cute? It's creepy. <sighs> You're always in such high demand, Miss Moyu. Being multi-talented is a blessing and a curse. I've been kicking around the idea of an octopus-looking charm with ten telepathically controlled arms. Or wait, octo means eight, doesn't it? Or maybe it's just <sighs> six. You're overworked again. Charms and lilies can only link through magi. Yet lilies and huge can only fight using magi. That's always been kind of funny to me. But human hearts and emotions and stuff are totally out of my wheelhouse. So I'm grateful to have Riri around to help me uh, figure out the new kid. But why do you need Riri specifically? She made the discovery. Or I guess it's more appropriate to say she made first contact. I suppose if you need a social butterfly to get chummy with someone for you, she's your girl. Actually, Riri's gonna be a little less lab assistant and a little more research subject on this one. Because the two of them may be connected? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to figure out. Obviously, I can't tell her that. It would skew the data. It must be serious if they put you on it. Though I should ask, is it wise to share that with a member of her <gasps> legion? Oh no! This is confidential! You have nothing to fear. For as long as I live, I won't tell a soul. Good! Because I'm not above using every dirty trick at my disposal to burn your life down if you do. And straight to threats, huh? So, this is pretty weird. Uh, if that girl is a lily, I would have assumed there'd be a missing persons record somewhere. Uh, but there's nothing. I've combed the records of lilies who have gone MIA in the past few years, and none of them match this girl's description. She's like a ghost. Could it be her powers only recently awakened? Oh! That could be it. But then, in that case, why don't I ask my father to look into it? We didn't become the world's premier charm manufacturer with subpar intel. You'd be surprised what we can find out. That's cool. Not creepy at all. It's the truth. Mary. Uh... What? I know you have the strength to eat. Yeah, but I want you to feed me. Uh... I'm not going to do that. <laughs> my, mothering her comes naturally to you. Mothery? You don't need to go that far! I'm like a sister, if anything! A sister? Still, it's about time that you gave her a name. Is it? Not having one has been inconvenient. But why do I have to pick?
How do you do, Miss Yu Yu? <sighs> do you mind if I join you? Mm. No. Please do. Sit. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long, Miss Yu Yu! <laughs> hey, don't cry. It's okay. I wondered where that book went. Were you holding on to it this entire time? Yes, only by accident. Thank you so much! Honestly, I hate listening to them! Here, wipe away your tears. I am not crying! <sighs> Wait, you're the girl from... Ah, good to see you up and about. Hey, nice uniform! Yep, as of today, she's an official Yuri Galka student. Wow, they admitted her in no time. She's so uh, adorable. Well, time to meet everyone. Say hi to Miss Yu Yu. Yu Yu? Come on. Don't be shy. Introduce yourself. We practiced this, remember? What's the point? Uh, this is not the dynamic I expected. It's almost like they're real life sisters. Don't you think it's getting a little cramped here? You're welcome to scoot. I want a better view. What are these? Those are scones. They're good. I expect you'll enjoy them, if you're a glutton, too. What do you mean, too? <laughs> Looks like you've got yourself another shell, Yu Yu. Can I eat one? Wipe your hands properly. They're less like sisters, and more like mother and daughter. Are you my mom? I didn't birth you. Are you my dad, then? Not by any stretch. Hang on. If she's been enrolled, then you must know her name. Oh, actually, her memory still hasn't come back yet? So what the heck have you been calling her this whole time? I, uh... Seriously, it's been a whole week already. Well, you see... We should all know. Tell us. Yuri! <laughs> what?! Uh, I can explain! I'm Yuri. That's what Riri said. No, listen! That's only a temporary name until I can think of a better one! Hey, Yuri! Hope you're hungry! Hey, Yuri! I brought you some books! Hey, Yuri! Let's go take a bath together! Really? That's the couple name I gave you and Miss Yu Yu in the article I wrote for the paper! No, look! It's not that big a deal! Oh, my! Well, I think it's lovely. It suits her. Keep it. Makes it sound like she's the fruit of your love or something. Wanna eat cat food with me? Mm. What do I do now? I'm always last to know things and then it's too late! Let's make it official. I'll go ahead and register Yuri as a member of our Legion. Oh, me! And I'll make her last name Hitotsu Yanagi for now, okay? Well, it's not the worst plan, right? Tasty. Ah, give me one of those as well. <laughs> Why did you make that girl a student? Isn't that drastic? That girl is still a lily. And she deserves proper treatment as such, regardless of whatever her past may be. And if we're very lucky, this may force the people snooping in the shadows out into the open. The battle competition is next week. Are you excited? Mm. Mostly nervous. What are they like at Yuri Galka? I'm not sure what they entail at the high school level, but I know we'll have a great time. Okay. So is it like a normal sports festival? Not exactly. In Lily Gardens, we show off tactical skills, hence battle competition. That's awesome! <laughs> there are three parts, class, legion, and individual rounds. It's an all-day event, and at the end, whoever is chosen as the year's best Lily wins a prize. Really? This year, they got the Arsenal Division on board to provide all the custom high-end charm afraid she wants. So cool, right? Goodness, what a shame. I'm afraid my joy use is perfect and has no room for improvement. I best not hear you underestimate my division. No customization is beyond our capabilities. Wow, that's nice to know. Then put me down for an electromagnetic synchronizer and variable dot sight. Mm -hmm. My, aren't you confident? You think you can beat me? Stop that. The best Lily will obviously be Miss Soraha. And off I'm right on cue. Think you've already won? I seem to recall we recently felled a huge you failed to bring down. That's in the past. Wait till you see what we can do one-on-one. -on -one. Hope you're ready, Shrimp. I expect a good fight, even if I am paired against puny you. You mind your tongue! Well, do your best out there. <laughs> So this ring is for me? Yep, put it on. Mm. 
Congratulations, Yuri. You should be very proud. Now you're an official Lily. Remember, that ring must attune to your magi, so don't take it off, okay? For how long? Only about two or three days. After that, you'll be able to make a pact with your very own charm. With all due respect, sir, is it wise to give her a charm? She has amnesia. We have next to no information on her. I'll hear no more. Magi lures huge and lilies have a right to defend themselves. Therefore, it's not unreasonable that she has a weapon assigned to her. If I may move on then, sir, we've noticed reconnaissance teams increasing activity near the school. We're still analyzing, but we think Gehenna is involved. That's unfortunate. That creepy research organization? The one infamous for experimentation on human subjects? Not a welcome presence here. You're right. And it gets worse. A number of our lilies are taking refuge from them. They're not someone we want on our doorstep. Whatever happens, as long as our girls can be classified as lilies, this academy will do its utmost to protect them. Guess what? Yuri got to put her lily ring on for the first time today. I see. Her magic flowed into it fine. Uh, but I guess she might have done all this before and just forgot about it. By the way, Riri, in case you're not aware, the Academy's security measures are higher than they've ever been. What? I can only assume they're on alert because so many organizations outside the school are interested in Yuri. Mm, but how is she any different from the rest of us? She just got hurt in battle somewhere and washed up here, right? She's a totally normal girl. Not the word I'd use, but I suppose you're right. Technically speaking, yes, the lilies here are normal girls. But the spying proves not everyone thinks that. Wait, what do you mean? I kind of figured everyone was fighting the huge together. Who is everyone? Well, let me see. Apart from the academy, there's also the defense force, and... But the only ones with the power to actually take down the huge? are lilies. It follows that someone out there is envious of or threatened by our combat ability. Why would anyone feel that way? When the huge appeared 50 years ago, apparently all global conflict immediately ceased. Of course, this is no time to fight amongst ourselves. But that makes you think, doesn't it? Imagine we defeat the huge for good. Would we finally know peace? Or will people eventually turn back to war no matter what? And if so, who do you expect they'll want to put on the front lines? Ah, uh, hold on. You think they're gonna try to make us fight other people? I wonder if we're being tested. If Magi is humanity's modern-day Promethean flame, what are we going to do with it when we're finished here? I'd never agree to something like that! Not even under orders! I didn't mean to upset you. Sorry about that. Speculating on what could happen in the future doesn't do us any good here and now. And don't worry. Most of us feel the same way you do. We won't let ourselves become pawns. you went with some Scandinavian no-name. I could have got you one better with my Grand Guignol discount. This Gungnir may be pre-owned, but Arsenal Division worked diligently to restore each and every moving part from the ground up. It's easier to use than a new charm. Is that so? Hey, Riri. Why do Lily's fight in the first place? Huh? Well, you know, we gotta protect everybody from being hurt by the huge. We help the helpless. No one wants to live in fear. That's all. Uh, oh. You seem kind of sad, Yu Yu. Do I? People often say that my face is hard to read. Super weird! You can smell that on her? Everybody else smells kind of sad to me, too. I believe it. 
All of us have our crosses to bear. That's just the world nowadays. I can't smell anything from Riri, though. Maybe I'm just extra easygoing. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, dear heart. You're perfect exactly as you are, okay? That pure innocence is why I love you so much. Well, opposites attract. <laughs> right on the money. But you smell different the closer you get to Riri. Like, you're only happy because she's here. And I bet you guys get real lonely when she's not around. Uh, if you say so. She read Miss Yuyu like a book. A good poker face is wasted on her. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll fight with you guys next time. Don't push yourself too hard. You should focus on getting your memories back. Or I can start making new ones. Either way, there's a lot I want to learn. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Well, when she says it like that, how can we deny her? Wonderful. Yuri is settled, so let's move on to Yuja. You're next on the agenda. Uh, Ready? Try these on. Uh, Let me know if you have a preference. We got this for you, too. <laughs> Whatever you pick, please wear the cat ears. Hang on. What's this for? Please don't. Did Shin Ling tell you what she was planning? Apparently, they're gonna enter Yuja in the cosplay division. Isn't she a little plain for what amounts to a modeling contest? They say it's actually better to start with a blank canvas. Oh, well, if they say so. You're just crabby because you think it should be Riri. Well, obviously! What the? Meow. Do you like it? By Jove, we've got it! She's so cute, I hate it. Oh, wow, God. that's not a bad look on you. Uh. Fill me in on today's uninvited guests, will you? Fifteen people have infiltrated our campus. We've also spotted three drones overhead. And their origin? Most are incognito, but we've confirmed several are government agencies. Though there may also be charm manufacturers and a few anti-government organizations among them. We're still gathering intel, but everyone's primary interest seems to be Yuri Hitotsuyanagi. How would you like us to proceed, sir? For now, investigate the volume and destination of all communications with outside entities. What if they decide to take more direct action? If these voyeurs get out of hand, you have my express authorization to deal with them as you see fit. Yes. They won't lay a finger on Yuri. You can count on that. Hmm. Now, what's a voyeur? All right, we're starting with a class competition. Our first year Camellia class will compete in teams of two, so let's split ourselves up. <laughs> that eliminates Yu Yu as a third wheel. I know nothing can stop me from having sweet little Riri all to myself. Hmm? Uh, wait, what are you doing out here? I'm in Camellia class with you. I'm sorry, since when? She was officially assigned to her class a week ago. Why am I the last to know? <laughs> our teacher was very forthcoming about adding her. Uh, I have a rather selective memory when it comes to Convenient fact. So you're useless then. Remember what we practiced. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this one's mine. It's just a bunch of little girls flying around. Those little girls fight the huge on foot. This is nothing. It's nice to meet you. You have good instincts for a rookie. She did such a good job! But it still wasn't good enough. That's not true, honest. You were amazing. <laughs> Those two are giving me real shoots, angle, and shield vibes. Show off new charms or special abilities by hitting tricky targets. Ready or not, you guys, here I come. Chiori is demonstrating two charms at once with her rare skill, Circlet Club. Wait till you see this! Ah! <laughs> How do you like that? Next is a highly anticipated next generation charm demonstration by Arsenal Division. The Mental Coupling Activation Test Unit Vampire, wielded by Foka Hatsube. Check this one out. Louise Ingalls is wearing a prototype of a super specialized close combat charm yarn draper. Oh, so cool. Oh. 
Last but not least, the main event is a five-team mixed Legion pull topple match. You win if you hit the other team's targets or knock down their pull. Okay, I'll do my best. Oh, we're just gonna watch this one. Why though? For this particular competition, they pre-selected specific members of each Legion. And that's me. But we can trade places. Mm -hmm. I hear experience is the best teacher. Absolutely huh? not! Don't even joke like that! Yuri isn't used to her charm yet, and if she got hurt, you'd be responsible! Spoil sport. Of course, Ichi's here. Uh, yet still you mock me? This shrimp will show you! Let the game begin! I'd like to request a bout, Miss Yu Yu! If we charge you at once, you have to pay attention to us. Sorry if three on one is too much for you. Excuse me, I have first dip. They just can't help themselves. That's too bad. Be careful, sis! Get her! Would you take this more seriously? <laughs> How careless! You're wide open, Gropius! Put down! Yeah. All things being equal, I would much rather engage this you here. But I don't know what you'll have to do for now. Then take this! Big press dragon! Your special attack's too easy to evade! <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was counting on that! What a win! I've never seen Phase Transcendence in action before! Phase Trans what now? There! And there's plenty more where that came from! That was nothing! <sighs> Rescue Squad on the field now! Someone went for a flashy finish. Uh, now then, everything is ready to go for your exhibition match, and it's gonna be a doozy if I do say so myself. So I hope you're ready to rumble! Miss Moyu, in your own words, what exactly do you think Phase Transcendence does? <laughs> huh? What do you take me for? It releases all of a Lily's magic in a single blast, making it one of the riskier rare skills. Yes, which means my magic has run dry for the day and I won't be back out there for a while yet. Oh dear. What am I gonna do now? Do you have any idea how much you're prepared for this stupid exhibition today? Sorry for getting a trifle carried away, I was provoked! Let's think about this. Surely we can find a suitable replacement. <laughs> huh? I barely took my eyes off her! What's she doing out there? It's the afternoon exhibition match. What does it look like? Moyu built that robo-huge for her research, and originally Miriam was supposed to be the one to fight it, but in her condition... Oh yeah! Since Miri's low on juice, I registered Yuri to fill in. You're kidding! Come on, Moyu built that thing herself, right? What is there to worry about? We should worry because Moyu made it. Oh no, oh no! Oh dear, I really thought I had more time! Oh, this Moyu! We can still get her out! but the cage won't open until the match is over. <laughs> She's only got to beat one little robot. And since this is an exhibition match, of course it's set up for the Lily to win. Or it better be. Oh, contraire, just the opposite. I tuned this baby up to take down Gropy without breaking a sweat. It's gonna kill her! What were you gonna have that thing do to me? Wait, this is no time to panic. I call him Mecha Rumpelstiltson and you will show him respect. Oh, you dead. Don't you dare get attached to a robot. She shouldn't have to do this. Easy come, easy go, I guess. Totally. At this point, our mysterious little amnesiac has completely eclipsed you in the Yuri Galka rumor mill. Don't encourage that. Hey, Riri, don't worry, I got this. Are you sure? I want to be a lily just like you. I want to be someone you can count on. And I want to make you proud. So I'll start here. <laughs> she looks up to you, Riri. Watch her closely and don't look away. She needs you to believe in her. Isn't that... You use battle stance. Learn the rhythm. 
rhythm, then find out how to break it. Never stop moving. If you can create an opening, you can take it down. They're cheering. Riri, while we're here, I want you to think back to when I first taught you the fundamentals. What was lesson number one? It was... willingly take the hit, deflect it, and strike? That's right. Now look. <laughs> willingly take the hit, deflect it, and strike! Yes! All right! A <clears throat> palpable hit. I finally got the results of Yuri's genome sequencing back from analysis. Go on. Her DNA... how do I put this? It's definitely that of an average human teenage girl, but there's something unnatural about it. Like it's too average or perfectly polished. It's normal to find small abnormalities or common gene variants, but this... Just the gist, please. <sighs> My conclusion is that she's an individual derived from the huge. In other words, she is a huge that became human. You're not surprised? No, though unfortunately we remain a step behind. The research agency Gehenna and the charm manufacturer Grant Guigno have filed a report with the UN regarding the loss of the test subject they were jointly researching, in which they claim the girl was born, or rather grown, in a lab with the help of huge stem cells. They refer to her as a synthetic lily. My stomach just turned. What a disgusting phrase. Could such a thing be done? Current research on the HUGE shows evidence of multi-layer genome duplication, which is to say their DNA may be able to absorb and replicate the DNA of all life on Earth. That Noah's Ark theory would include humans, which doesn't make the idea of isolating those stem cells too far-fetched. So, I couldn't tell you how to pull that off or anything, but yeah, I guess it's possible. It's also illegal and completely unethical. But they're so desperate to get her back, they expose their own misconduct in order to demand that we return her. And unfortunately, they discovered a loophole that may force our hand. She can't stay here? If it's true that she isn't human after all, the Academy loses its justification for protecting her. <sighs> we have another problem. The head of Grand Guigno is Kaire Johan Nouvelle's father. Hi, Daddy. What can I do for you? Gehenna, the research firm, and the French charm manufacturer Grant Guignol have made a scientific breakthrough. They've extracted stem cells from a huge and developed a cloning process. It has been postulated, and perhaps now confirmed, that the huge have some form of chimerism. Their genetic material contains the DNA of every other living thing. The primary objective of these two organizations was to clone the human genes in order to generate a huge lily hybrid. They appear to have been successful. The young lady in our care is their so-called test subject. If she is not, in fact, human, the Academy can no longer rely on legal precedent to offer her sanctuary. Meaning that we have no other choice but to give her up. How do you do? How do you do? No way! You mean she can't stay? I don't believe it! She hasn't done anything! 
I'm sorry, but you need to step aside. Can you at least tell me why? That's privileged information. I would like to ask the same thing. <laughs> Yuri is still an official member of our Legion. We have a right to know what's going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gehenna and Grangineal have confirmed Yuri. No. Rather, that this individual is huge. She's what? She was born of a cloning effort. Earlier on the day we found her, a Gehenna research vessel made close contact with a huge nest. The idea was to siphon Maggi from the nest to complete the experiment. But predictably, a huge attack and sunk the ship, and the test subjects were lost before they awoke. All except for one. Okay, so? Why should I care where she's from? She's no different from the rest of us! Yuri's a normal girl! You sound mad? Just stand down, okay? What are you going to do to her? She belongs to Gehenna. They've requested her return. And if she goes back, what will they do to her? They'll experiment on her, then likely terminate her. <gasps> they can't. I won't let that happen. Really? Hey, Yuri. What do you want to do? Um, I had a lot of fun at the competition yesterday with you and all the other girls, so... If I can, then I want to stay here with you. I don't think she's dangerous. What have we overlooked? We can't be the ones to strike a partnership with a sentient huge. The liability is beyond comprehension. One wrong move, and Lily's could be perceived as a threat, as the general public is powerless against Maggie. It would be arrogant for us to risk that outcome now. We must be delicate. The defense force is already in route. Preventing full-scale armed conflict between humans and Lily's is our number one priority. Can. Then I want to stay here with you. There will always be people who fear lilies no matter what. But if all we want is to live our lives freely, is it arrogant to fight for that? Girls, don't panic! Everyone stay calm! Yuri's a huge and Murray took off and there's a warrant out for her arrest, but it's fine! How so? They must have made a mistake. Think about it for a second. There's no possible way Yuri could be a huge. Murray's obviously in the right! But, if they fled from the Academy, there must be enough truth to it that they're not safe here. <sighs> I'm a boosted Lily. So mark my words, Gehenna will be here, looking for them. What do you mean, boosted? It means that they experimented on her to artificially enhance her abilities. When I finally made it out of there, the school took me in. Whatever Gehenna tells you, don't trust them. We have orders. We are to move out immediately to arrest Riri and capture Yuri. Get ready to go. Go where? What's your plan? The Hitotsu Yunagi Squad will be the first Legion to locate them, and we will protect them. That's my decision as Vice Commander, but... Feel free to stay put if you object for any reason. You know we're not allowed to disobey Academy orders. This directive comes from the government, not from Yuri Gauka. So you're under no legal obligation. But we should take care of each other. It's only natural. <gasps> I was hoping you'd say something like that, Miss Yuyu! Let's do it! Uh, hey, you seen Kaede? I believe that her family's business is embroiled in this mess. I'm sure it's awkward for her. Mm -hmm. Kaede, 
Of course now you choose to pick up the phone. Start talking. Are you well? Yes, I've never been better. I'm sorry, but I'll have to call you back. It's not a good time, right? No, I should think not. You've certainly made a mess of things, haven't you? Listen, I'm sure this has been challenging for you, but please don't interfere. Even for you, Expect I Expect me to proceed as I see fit, as you obviously have this whole time. As things stand, I couldn't care less about your input. I know Gehenna's proposal was utterly foolish. Making lilies from huge is ridiculous. It deserves nothing but scorn. Surely you understand that you can't absolve yourself after the fact, don't you, Father? You make me sick. My only hope was that girls like you wouldn't have to be involved anymore. That's why I accepted. That's noble, coming from the head of a weapons manufacturer. When you put it like that, I'm almost impressed by the sentiment. If you were wrong, Father, your little experiment failed. And in the end, that girl is exactly like the rest of us. So you see, if you want to keep Lily safe, this is not the way to do it. Please, Father, take responsibility, do the right thing, and don't make me curse my destiny. I don't want to regret the fact that I have Maggi and became a Lily, or that I was born your daughter. Oh, good. Glad to see everyone's here. Huh? Where have you been? I had something to take care of. We're gonna side with Riri and Yuri. What do you think? Ah, <sighs> isn't that a shame? I was so looking forward to rescuing Riri all by myself, but what can you do? Please be honest. Are you involved in any way with what's going on? That would be a resounding no. A lily doesn't abandon her legion. <laughs> I see. Well... Shall we be up? Where are we? I guess some town that was abandoned after a huge attack. If this was someone's home, where are they now? I don't know. Everyone hates the huge, don't they? I wonder if they hate me, too. Don't say things like that! No one hates you! Don't think twice about that! Sorry. Hey, please don't cry. It's okay. We'll see them again soon. We have received multiple interesting reports that a Yuri Gauka lily has fled with the huge whose capture was ordered this morning. Can you confirm or deny this for us? That is accurate. Our institution is working to rectify the situation. We will have the girls in custody before long. I'm sorry, girls? You mean one fugitive lily and one huge. Watch your language. It's unfortunate that only adolescents are able to use Magi. But consider the optics here. Many civilians fear that lilies could turn on the public simply for being asked to do what is right. I'm sure you realize how these two are exacerbating the situation. How can you justify their actions? They simply wish to live their lives as freely as possible. Nothing more. <laughs> you don't say. Yes, I suppose we all want that. But sacrifices must be made. And if lilies are the only humans capable of using Magi, it follows that they should be made to bear a commensurate burden. Don't you agree? <sighs> I haven't been to one of these in ages! Don't get too excited. We're supposed to be on a mission, remember? Sure, you can say that, but you did buy two desserts. I need them to replenish my energy! I heard lilies from other gardens got mobilization requests, too. What? The Defense Force actually got outside lilies involved? I want to get one thing straight with you two. Whose side are we on here? Hang on. Whose side? We can't disobey direct orders, can we? Well, they came from the government, not Yurigelka, right? So we could. I think. I'd rather believe what I've seen and felt. Is that so wrong? If we mess this up, I worry. Will it end in lilies and humans fighting each other? That will not happen. We're not regular soldiers. We only fight huge. Well, in that case, remember that we've all been trained in situational decision-making. And we have the authority to make tactical calls. 
<laughs> okay, so the most important thing we have to decide is whether Yuri is a person or a huge. Hmm. Let's settle that. Human or huge? On three. One, One two, two, human! <laughs> <laughs> With all due respect, Acting Chairman, I believe that we veered slightly off topic. On the contrary, let's continue. This is a discussion for which we are long overdue. When we force young girls to bear the brunt of combat, we should continually ask what we're fighting for. That question requires perspective. Gardens have been given autonomy despite public opposition, out of fear. These girls are inherently dangerous, and a lily who protects huge must not be allowed to exist. She who fights with monsters might take care, lest she becomes one. Gaze into the abyss, and the abyss gazes back into you. Indeed. I think we could all take that lesson to heart, yes? <laughs> Excuse me. It appears that we've received a new report. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuri Gauka Girls Academy Arsenal Division 2nd Year Moyu Mashima. I published 51 papers on my Maji research last year alone. I believe they call me Weekly Moyu in the field. Moyu? Right. Sorry. My bad. I'll get straight to the point. Yuri is a human. Definitely not a huge. <laughs> Let's look at the data, shall we? I double-checked Yuri's genome analysis, and it matches a human's with 99.9% .9 certainty. But not 100%. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a 100% human. I mean, you and I aren't identical, right? No, duh, there's variation. We're all unique. Genetic diversity is the root of long-term survival for any species, and genome evolution occurs under our noses every day. So of course we're all gonna be a little different. You and I are only 99.9% .9 human too. But she was born of a huge! I thought you'd say that. But a genetically human being shall be considered human regardless of origin. That's from an international treaty that came into effect about 20 years ago, when ethically dubious research like yours was more rampant. Our country only ratified it last year, but that's neither here nor there. If she has any huge genes, I'll hear no exception! Right, I was getting to that next. It turns out Yuri's huge-derived cells totally lost their function when she became humanoid. Her body absorbed them and rendered them useless. And that's even supported by materials supplied by Grand Guignol. Man, without these, it would have taken me a whole extra day to figure that one out. <laughs> so again for the cheap seats. Yuri is human. Now that that's been settled, she can no longer be considered your property. But she's still a fugitive! The arrest order you issued was based on unsubstantiated information. Might I suggest you rescind it? Our response was perfectly reasonable! Yes, operating under the assumptions that you were, there's no changing the past. We should take this opportunity to recalibrate our approach as we move forward. And needless to say, now that Yuri has been officially identified as a Lily, this Academy will take full custody of her in accordance with precedent. <laughs> Let's hear it for precedent. We'll have to stay here. I'm not sure. I wasn't really thinking that far ahead. Although... You have to run, Riri. There's a deserted town several miles west. Hide there and buy time. I'll come for you soon, okay? Don't worry. If we stay here, Miss Yuyu and the others will come join us. I wonder if all huge are like me. What? No way! You're nothing alike! But they said that's what I am. They're wrong. No matter where you're from, you're just a normal girl. So, if I went to join the huge, then there'd be no place for me there either. <laughs> I wish I could have chosen how I was born. I would have picked something different. Do you ever feel that way? For sure, all the time. I always wanted to have long, beautiful, silky hair like Miss Yu Yu. And I wish I could be cool and composed all the time like she is. <sighs> then I bet Yu Yu is happy with the person she gets to be, huh? Listen, you don't have to be something you're not. You're Hiri, and you're perfect. But you know... 
I only became Yuri because of you, and I'm really grateful for that. Thank you for being part of who I am. Don't worry, you'll always have a home with us. We'll make one for you, got it? Yes, now let's go home together. <gasps> Everyone came! Hi guys! Moyu and the acting chairman presented their argument to the government. Yuri is safe and officially human. It's over. I was so ready to sweep Riri off her feet in a daring escape. How disappointing. And they canceled the warrant for your arrest already. How about that? My arrest? I didn't know they were after me. And how'd you find the hideout? Oh, look outside. It's pretty obvious. Yes. They managed to avoid conflict. Folly of pure magic. But it's still standing. It should have worn itself out immediately. Is that a huge? Well, it definitely looks like one. But huge are created and powered by magic. They shouldn't be able to channel it like that on their own. So how? Are we gonna fight it? Yeah. We need to get back to the school and <laughs> Whoa, is that Shikuchi? That's my rare skill! That's impressive, but she's headed towards the huge! Unbelievable! Even I've never been able to pull that off! It's a combined technique! She's also using phase transcendence! Then she's a dual skiller? Or has she been boosted? Either way, she'll exhaust her magic if she keeps this up! <laughs> it's connected to that vortex! Riri! You can't catch up to her on foot! <laughs> Take too many of those. Yurigaka is done for. Oh, that's weird. Looks like the huge in the nest have some kind of link. It's like it created a direct magi pipeline. If it's harnessing magi straight from the source, we either break that connection or we're done for. But how?
sorry. I never got to finish cutting your hair. It was starting to get so long. This morning, we were smiling together. Explain to me why they're punishing Riri again? If they finally admitted Yuri was human, that should mean Riri was well within her right to protect her, don't you think? We don't pick our orders. Granted, these were obviously the result of someone's mistake, but they're effective until rescinded. And unfortunately, it may not matter how you feel. Sometimes you'll get orders that can put your comrades at risk. You don't need to tell me that, but I thought lilies have the right to make on-the-spot decisions about this kind of stuff. We do, but that freedom is completely due to Yuri Gauka. In the rest of the world, civilians tend to be less understanding. Yeah, that's true. So the Academy has to punish her if only to show we're being kept in line. That's ridiculous. I wish we could do something. It's not gonna help anyone to make an example out of her like this. Hey. Miss Yu Yu, what are you? They said I can't see anyone. The perk of being your shoot single. Let's talk. I only have ten minutes. <laughs> How do you feel? Okay? I don't know. Of course. That was a dumb question. No. Your hair is a mess, you know. Carry yourself well. Even stuck in here. Uh, Riri, where did your hair tie go? Huh? Oh, right. It got blown off. I guess that means it's gone. I'm curious why these rooms get automatic doors, but our dorms don't. Put in a request with facilities. I hope you realize that even if we don't express it, every single lily has something weighing on us like you and Riri do. What I mean to say is, why don't you drop a loner act and consider relying on your comrades every once in a while? Maybe I will, okay? Honestly, you couldn't be more difficult if you tried! Her hair tie? Do you mean that four-leaf clover she wore? I think she lost it going after Yuri. She must be sad. You going to look for it? Yes. But you know you can't find it alone, which brings you here. Of all the things you could have asked of us, I never thought that looking for a hair tie on the seashore would be your request. Didn't you just reprimand me for not relying on you? Riri is in pain. She's never experienced grief like this before. If we don't help her, keep her from bottling up all that regret, she might break. And then someday she'll curse herself for it. Ah uh, yes, that sounds like someone else we know. I want to be there for her so she doesn't end up like me. And finding her hair tie is your way of showing support, is that right? Oh fine! I suppose I can help this once, but not because you asked me to! If we work together, we can make miracles happen. This would normally be a tall order, but we have our rare skills to assist us. So which one of you's got the needle and the haystack rare skill? One may not cut it, but if we combine them, the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. my skill, Testament, is for amplification. I can use it to enhance someone else's perception-based skill. Awesome! Then if you boost my hawk's eye, we got this in the bag! Don't forget, my register is also perception-related. And my phase transcendence shall supply you all with an extra dose of magic. You two, remind me of your skills, would ya? I have what's called Heaven's Measure. I can perceive a target's position on a nanoscale. Mine's Phantasm, which is like precognition. Almost all perception, then. How lucky. And of course, Miss Yu Yu has... <sighs> There's only one thing Lunatic Trancer is good for. Rampaging like an idiot. Uh, hey! Don't worry about it! My Shikuchi makes me totally useless, too! Oh. 
hope you're ready. Testament! Okay, Hoxie, engage! Far more than Fumi can handle. Our first attempt may have failed, but that's good data, so let's mark that as a win for today. Uh, a win for who? We have our work cut out for us. <laughs> Yesterday didn't work out, but I'd like to begin with a similar formation. Fumi, you're up. No, not me again! Don't worry. This time, we're going to divide your hawk's eye among all of us to take some of the pressure off of you. Ready? Let's do this! Hold on your butt! <laughs> Whoa! That's wild! I do feel like a bird! So this is Hawk's Eye, huh? <laughs> if you ask me, trying the same method twice is a waste. At this rate, my skill would be much more... today, Miriam. My pleasure, but for how long must this drag on? Until we find it or give up, I guess. Not to sound like Kaede, but do you really think we'll have any luck with this? We should keep trying either way. Hang on, where is Kaede right now? She took off already. That seems a little weird. She tends to take the longest baths out of everyone. What? <laughs> hey, Kaede? Is something the matter? Maybe. Could I have a moment of your time? You're trying to combine multiple rare skills? That sounds like kind of a fun challenge. You recall how draining face transcendence is on a good day, but using it every day is misery. If this weren't for Riri, I'd never do it. Then go get some sleep instead of coming down here, goofball. Oh. But when I hear of Riri's condition and see how terribly it's affected Miss Yu Yu, I want to be... you know... It weighs heavy on the mind, is all. Come on over here. <sighs> What's going on, Gropey? You're not worried about little old me. Of course I am. You worked yourself to the bone for Yuri, too, and in the end... Well... It's been some time since we were shown how deadly our charge can be. So I'm feeling a touch of melancholy, I suppose. What is this? This is a Dine Slave. It was recovered from inside a huge five months ago. Yes, I recall now. The charm was embedded in a huge for quite some time. About two years since the evacuation of Koshu. Pretty. Oh, this? It's a four-leaf clover! A pretty common accessory. I like it. My dad gave it to me for good luck right before I started school here. Hey, there's an idea! Why don't we go shopping together on my next day off? Then I can get you a present! Are you for real? Let's go today instead, come on! Well, we can't go now, but soon! How useless. I couldn't even do that for her. Woohoo! Hope you're ready to give 110%! Where'd all that come from? I wonder if she's feeling well. You can't finish what you don't start, so let's go! She's right, time to focus. Especially with the awful weather lately. 
The bath is great and everything, but Ruri gets out of solitary tomorrow and we have nothing to give her. I thought for sure we would have found it by now. Makes sense for a four-leaf clover, though. Is there some kind of problem with Ruri getting out of there? And what on earth have you ladies been doing out at the beach these last few days? It's kind of a long story. We're looking for something she lost out there. What is she missing? Are you planning to come by again tonight? Yes, please, if it's not an imposition. A tie? No wonder you haven't found it. We can help you look if you want. Huh? Are you sure? You have to find it soon. The next huge could show up at any time, and then what? If there's another battle out there, it's gone forever. You're right. We should let Miss Yu and the others know. Yeah. Thank you for coming. I'm in your debt. <laughs> I'm in your debt? What century are you from? I'm sorry. Forgive me. I don't know what to say at times like this. Don't forget, all of us have lost comrades out there, too. Lilies know what it's like to grieve. It's only natural that we lift each other up. Riri shouldn't go through this alone. <laughs> there you are. What time did you leave this morning? Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Please pay me no mind. If the goal is to combine our rare skills, it will be more effective to be in physical contact with one another. That said, I've never attempted this technique with so many people. Ready! Finishing move! How do you do, Riri? All of you came to see me? Naturally, we have something for you. This is... Oh, come now. I know you're surprised, but why don't you put it on? I'll help you. Thank you. Where do you find this for sale? Huh? Beg pardon? Oh. It looks just like the one I lost. It looks like it! That's yours, isn't it? Well, my four-leaf clover had a crack in one leaf. This one doesn't, so... <laughs> I should have done more research. Something you'd like to share? <laughs> Start talking. Has anyone ever told you how positively terrifying you can be? <laughs> What is this? That one... is definitely mine! Did she have an extra this whole time, or what? No, Kaede spent the last week making the new one herself. You're kidding! Okay, you lost me. Mm. I found the real one on the beach on day two or three, but with the state that thing is in... I thought it would only upset Riri more, and I wanted to give her something comforting and whole. How did we turn up a fake with all that magic? Rest assured we found the real one today. I knew a search this large was bound to reveal that I had it all along. So I got up early and threw it in the water. To think you duped your own legion for days on end. Of course! I had to make sure I was the one to pick it up first, so I could swap it out with a frankly excellent fake one that I finished last night. 
I'm honestly amazed you put so much effort into this. <sighs> so fine, now you know! It's an inescapable fact that I lied to you all to help me deceive Riri, and I'd do it again, do you hear me? I'm not proud, but someone had to step up! The cat's out of the bag, so I'll accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate! Do your worst! I just can't believe you got Shiori involved. Nope. All I did was give her access to the workshop. I honestly had no idea what she was doing in there. Kaede. What? Don't judge me. You're not so bad, you know that? <laughs> Thanks, Kaede, for everything. You're quite welcome, my darling. And hey, thank you, too. I think Kaede had the right idea. If this one was all I had, I think it would only remind me of the painful things. But now that I have a new one to go with it, it'll remind me how much you care, and that makes me feel so happy. I love them. They're both real to me. I see. Well, I suppose in that case, everything went according to our crazy plan, didn't it? <laughs> you can get up. There's something I want to say to you. You did well. I'm grateful. Oh, please. I would have done this for Ruri no matter what. So I appreciate the sentiment, but there's no need for you to thank me, Miss Yu Yu. I'm speaking as her shoot angle. And as her big sister. Oh, I can see exactly what you're doing. You're not as subtle as you think. What you really mean is Ruri is mine and you can't have her. Yes, precisely. <laughs> you finally admit it after all this time! Give up already. <laughs> you gave it your best shot. <laughs> always been so overprotective. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm happy. So why? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you, okay? Let yourself feel whatever you need to, Riri. We're right here. So if you need to cry, take all the time you want. I wasn't able to protect her! Yuri's gone forever! I was supposed to take care of her and I couldn't do anything! I know you did everything right, understand? Trust me. No one could have prevented this. <laughs> Okie dokie, this is a bit of a weird one, so where to begin? Just, Just the, the gist. gist. In that case, I'll make this as simple as possible. The formulae on this particular Dineslave have been overwritten by someone, not me. Hmm. I'm currently working off of the hypothesis that these new formulae influenced the huge in some way. A huge being controlled by outside means? How would such a thing be possible? I don't have anything to back this up yet, but uh, huge and charms are both controlled by Magi, if you see where I'm going. It's possible you could use a charm as a controller. And Yu Yu Shirai was the original owner of this Dineslave, is that correct? Well, she was. Although, the last person to make a pact was... <laughs> That's unfortunate, if true. Yes, sir. The last person to hold this charm, before it was recovered anyway, was Yu Yu's then shoot angle. She's supposed to be dead. I got to come see you. Hey, uh... <laughs> as long as we're here, let's visit your shoot single. <laughs> yes, let's. Big sis, how did you get over what happened to Miss Misuzu? Well, it's not really something you get over. Your grief becomes a part of you. 
There's no way to change the past, but you can learn to accept it. I think that's gonna take me a long time. That's perfectly fine. The cruelest thing about death is unfinished business. Every one of these lilies had something to live for, and it was all suddenly cut off. Their thoughts, wishes, and feelings are frozen in time. They'll never see their dreams realized, and that's for us to process. Those of us left behind, we can try to honor them, but all we can really do is wonder. Very well said. <gasps> Be careful not to upset your darling shield with that talk. Though perhaps it could be a comfort to share our feelings out loud with the people we lost. Even if we're only speaking to gravestones or ghosts. <gasps> but... are you? The student council must be busy these days, huh? Your roommate left early. You know, I've been thinking. I'm probably a manifestation of your guilt. You couldn't save Yuri. And your precious shield is heartbroken no matter what you do. Sure, it was nobody's fault, but you still blame yourself anyway. So here I am, to show you you're wounded more deeply than you think. You're just a hallucination. You're not the real Misuzu. Obviously. But you should be careful. What you feel influences what you see. And vice versa. Good morning. You're up early. Uh, I'm off to morning practice. Sorry to wake you up. For someone who's not a morning person, you've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get stronger. You know, so that I can protect my friends. I feel like I've woken up from a dream. I came this far out of admiration for Yu Yu. I wanted to be exactly like her, but lilies are supposed to focus on others. I thought I understood, but I was only thinking about myself. Try not to be so hard on yourself about it. If you can't separate responsibility and guilt, then they'll destroy you. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you for always being honest with me. Well, I'm out. Do your best. Hi, Fumi. Ah! I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. How do you do? When I decided to become a lily, I knew going in this could happen, and I really thought I was ready for it. I did too. Miss Yu Yu said this feeling will probably take a long time to deal with. Has anyone told you you seem different lately? Do I really? Mm-hmm. You seem stronger now. I don't know. But if that's true, it's because of my big sis. I'm really envious. Don't sweat it. I'm sure you're gonna make a fantastic shield, Boomy. Ah! Hi, Miss Mai. If you haven't found anyone else, would you want to make a shoot single pledge with me? Do you mean that? I thought you said you weren't going to take on a shield for a while. What gives? When was that? Oh my, look who's here. Uh, hi, Shinlin. Hi, Yuja. Wait, I thought I saw Kaede up here too. Why don't you join us? Goodness, it's too quiet for me to make an entrance. Give me something to work with. What are you so embarrassed about? Mushy situations like this don't suit me, so I prefer to avoid them when possible. Oh, you don't say. Uh... I guess we all had the same idea. Yeah, we're only missing Miri Miri and Yu Yu. Last night, Mi said, I'm off to assist Miss Moyu. Ciao! So she still may be asleep, which would make sense. What's with me? It's shorter. <sighs> Tell us what's bothering you. Just that I haven't seen Miss Yu Yu lately at all. Neither have I, come to think of it. She hasn't been by the meeting room in days. Really? She still shows up to practice and everything. The last time I got to see her was when she came up here with me to visit Yuri and Miss Misuzu. This is outside of my normal scope, but I did some social research on Kawazoe. I hit a wall on this charm analysis and figured it could help, and I think I found something. The Miss Misuzu everyone remembers was totally above reproach, top of her class, and everybody loved her. 
An exemplary lily with a spotless record. That's right, she was. Which makes me wonder, was her skill charisma? Uh, charisma? Surely not. Isuzu's rare skill was... Yeah. There's no mention of charisma in any of her public records, so if I'm right, that would be one heck of an oversight. Except, none of this quite adds up any other way. Elaborate, please. If you want to override a charm's pact, following procedure isn't a rule, it's a necessity. Go on. But from what I can tell, Misuzu instantly overwrote the pact and spells mid-combat, then influenced a huge through Magi. What other skill could allow someone to do that? You're assuming that the wounded huge then returned to the nest and spread her influence to others. Maybe. There is a higher level of charisma currently under investigation. She's right. The place. Early studies show it can even manipulate people's memories, though that's still yet to be confirmed. Then there's someone we should talk to. You use my roommate. I'll take care of it if you like. Oh, wait. Do you mind if I do it? It feels like forever since we had a real talk. Believe it or not, we were actually pretty close in junior high. <laughs> At least I always thought so. Hey, Riri. Wanna have a party? It would be nice to hang out with everyone like normal. That does sound fun, but I gotta keep training. I'm glad that you're working so hard. Don't forget to rest, though. A little variety keeps you from burning out. I know! It can be a ramen-themed party! Ooh, ramen Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That'd be nice. Ah, come on in. Hello, Miss Yu Yu. Uh, how do you do? High time I took a breather. Mm -hmm. <sighs> She's all yours. Another late night? Eh, yeah. It's no big deal. I do it because I want to. You always work so hard. Huh? Wait, did you just show concern for me? No, I... Maybe. Pinch me! Surely I'm dreaming! Has the lone wolf Yu Yu Shirai deigned to show deference to the lonely lilies of the lab? That's enough. Ah. Uh, uh, I take it I'm not here for small talk. What can I do for you? Okay, I'll save the convoluted preamble for later, which I guess would make it a postamble, wouldn't it? <sighs> That's real dumb. I'm sorry. This isn't easy for me to do either. I want to ask you about Miss Misuzu. Uh, not about the charm? Go ahead. You were the one who originally made a pact with the Steinslave. But who was the last one to use it in the Koshu evacuation two years ago? Miss Misuzu, right? The spells on this charm have been completely overwritten. <laughs> Pretty weird, right? Do you think she had charisma? Charisma? Misuzu? It's normally a rare skill used between lilies. It raises allies' morale and increases an entire legion's capabilities as a result. So, based on those properties, it's also called a control skill. Now, we have reason to believe that Miss Misuzu used it on Huge instead of Lilies. There's a theory that Magi is a power that's been using Huge to destroy the Old Order and create a new world. I didn't think much of it at first, but... The Huge in our jurisdiction have begun to display behavioral patterns that we have never seen in five decades of observation. Like some outside force is upsetting them and rapidly increasing their ferocity. The start of that change roughly coincides with the battle where you recovered this charm. I wonder if Miss Misuzu used it to set up some kind of dead man switch two years ago. Ring any bells? Or... I'm afraid not. She was kind, relentless, loving, a great lily. And beyond that, I know nothing. I see. I'm sorry. It's okay. Do I look worried? Moyu. Hmm? Listen, I... Never mind. It's nothing. Well, makes sense that we can't go straight back to the way things used to be. I've always found it unfair. These blossoms are gorgeous, but Yoshino trees never bear any fruit. It seems wrong that something so intensely beautiful can't multiply without interference from humans. In a way, these cherry trees remind me of the huge. 
From the moment they're born, brought forth by Magi, they eat nothing and they create nothing. They exist purely to fight and die. I wish you wouldn't compare such lovely things to huge. Shall I compare them to lilies instead? It's a fair trade. Magi practically turned us into huge. Except lilies fight with hesitation and weakness in their hearts. So if we only exist to fight and die, where is the line between fearing the duty your power demands and deciding none of this is worth protecting after all? And what would change your mind? I couldn't say. But worth isn't for us to decide. That's too far above our station. You're right, of course. I hope you know, I only share these things with you. Maybe I just love to see that look on your face. Pixis! I'm glad I finally caught you! <gasps> Riri, haven't seen you since the graveyard. <laughs> Listen, the Legion decided to throw a Ramane party to help us all relax a little. So of course we want you to be there with us. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I can't. Please don't go! She's good at getting close, isn't she? Either she never misses an opening, or she creates them. If we have the same skill, it's probably the latter. Stop it! <sighs> don't go yet. Talk to me. Maybe lilies with charisma are just your type. Or do you think it's a coincidence? You seem to think you chose to accept her as your shield. But was that feeling natural? Or were you influenced? <gasps> Massive huge have launched from the nest off the coast. Their trajectory reached a height of 3,800 kilometers. Do we know the target? We do. Looks like their predicted parabola circles the Earth once and ends. Right here. They're coming back. All three of them? I can't believe it's worth risking their own nest to wipe us out. I hereby issue an evacuation order to all Yuri Gauka students. Personnel are to leave their posts immediately and retreat to the emergency zone. Is there enough time to get everyone out? I can't say. So let's be quick about it. her does it miss yu yu isn't that kind of shoot single i can't imagine a scenario where she would ever leave her shield behind stop it <gasps> go away sister <sighs> sister of course it makes sense that miss misuzu would be on her mind <sighs>
to you. <sighs> I can't channel my mashi. Are you feeling okay? I think so. Why can't I... You stay here. I'll go on ahead. <sighs> This morning, I couldn't sleep, so I watched a dewdrop roll down my window. When the morning sun finally rose, it sparkled like a dream. It was just so beautiful, so of course I had to touch it. And I broke it. If I'd resisted, I could have watched it that much longer. I want you to understand that you're special to me, Yu Yu. Only you give color to my world, and you shine so brightly. You're my morning dew. And I'm resisting now. Can you tell how desperately I'm struggling to hold back my feelings for you? Understand the one thing I never want to do is hurt you. But... If it comes to a point where I can no longer hold myself back... Would you kill me, Yu Yu? Of course not. I don't think you could ever hurt me, Miss Misuzu. <laughs> Never mind. Forget it. Big Sis, are you okay? I said forget it! <laughs> what do you think happens to people who can't accept themselves? They hate. They hate themselves and everything else. Yes. My sister cursed herself. And then me. Big Sis! Riri. I came to get you. Everyone else left already. We have to go. Leave without me, Riri. I'm exactly where I need to be. I have to stay and fight. That's crazy! It's too dangerous! You gotta come with me! Don't you dare give me orders! Or are you controlling me with your rare skill, too? <gasps> I'm seeing hallucinations of Miss Misuzu. They won't stop. I'm broken. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Misuzu cursed everything around her. This is a trap. She wanted me to kill her. I have to defeat those huge... This is for me to do, so get out! It says... You can't. There's no magic in your charm! <gasps> I don't understand what's going on! But you're in no condition to fight, so let me help you! Don't you get it? You're my big sister! You'll always be worth protecting! I'll beat those huge if it's the last thing I do! It's impossible. I'm the only one who can defeat my sister. That's not Miss Misuzu! They're all huge! Please don't go! Ruri, wait. You can't. Don't worry. I got this. Uh, why isn't my charm working? Other lilies have reported that theirs are non-functional too. What could cause that? The huge they fired from the nest. Looks like the whole point was to build up enough kinetic energy to burrow underground and deploy a magi barrier. We're cut off. They're effectively using our magi to bolster whatever nasty thing they're cooking up out there. Not too long ago, I would have thought that impossible. The three underground magi signatures have almost disappeared. Whatever power they've amassed is being absorbed by the newly emerged huge. The one in the center? I can feel its animosity from here. How infuriating! A charm this good and I can't even use it! Look around you, we're equally frustrated. None of us can activate a charm. Oh really? Then explain why Riri was still able to use hers. I'm curious whether it has something to do with her rare skill. Miriam! Why? What's her skill? Charisma. It's a support and control skill. Ah, you knew. No, it was a guess. But there are other lilies here with charisma too, so why only Riri? That's the million dollar question. I hope she found Miss Yu Yu. 
and that they're both okay. I just realized something. If Riri figures out she's the only one who can use a charm right now, she may very well run off and try to take on that huge all by herself. I'd like to think she isn't quite that foolhardy, but it is conceivable. Yeah, our captain is as reckless as they come. But I wanna go too, you know? Yeah, there has to be something we can do to help her, right? Absolutely. It's much too soon to give up. Mm. I'd sooner die than see the Hitotsu Yunagi squad become a paper tiger. So let's get out there. <sighs> if we're together, we can do anything. from the heart of the Magi Barrier looks very similar to Lunatic Trancer. If we had evacuated any later, it could have easily affected all of us. <laughs> How do you figure? I thought those huge only burrowed to cut us off from our Magi, but this force field looks like it's designed to induce Lunatic Trancer. Get too close and lose your marbles. <laughs> Not to mention their Magi supply is off the charts. So even if we could activate our charms, deck is stacked against us. Excuse me! Wait, I mean... Hey, listen up, ugly! I'm the one you're fighting, got it? As long as I can use a charm, I won't let you hurt my friends! All I can do right now is buy time. close and personal. Come on! Can't we do anything? Should we attempt the Noinville tactic? Couldn't hurt to try. We'd have to compensate for our missing girls. 
But wait, if they're both already fighting out there... I see. All we'd have to do is deliver them the Magisphere. Well, that's easier said than done. I mean, where do you expect us to get a Noinveld bullet at a time like this? Mm, uh, uh, hang on. Is that a Noinveld bullet? Sorry, Kaede, you were saying... When did I... Riri. <sighs> there you are. Can you still fight? Yeah. Let's go, sis. Keep in mind, the two of us can only do so much on our own. I know. But as long as we can stall for enough time, the others will find a way to help us take it down. Fear is ready for us. I'll receive the pass. You take the finishing shot. <gasps> what on earth? It intercepted our magic sphere? We failed, Riri. Fall back and keep running. Fall back yourself, big sis! <gasps> Honestly! Would it kill you to just do as I say for once in your life? <gasps> What's that supposed to mean? Learn how to obey a direct order, rather than consciously disrespecting your shoot angle at every possible turn. Hey, it's not like I ignore you. I just want to do what's best for my friends. You're proving my point. No matter what anyone says, you always run off without listening to reason. But you're right. It comes from a place of selflessness. I got it! That's too much magic. <laughs> Let's go, Kusume. Yes, I'm right behind you. It's me. They're passing it again. Fiji, Arya! My charm is already his limit. How much power is this, that thing? It's a big one! Be careful! All right, bring it on!
tell you, a bath after a battle just hits different. I normally enjoy them more, but isn't this a little too different? I don't know. I love an open-air hot spring. And don't you worry. I've paralyzed the surrounding surveillance net, so I promise no one's watching us. That wasn't really my chief concern. I, for one, don't mind if anyone sneaks a You peek. wouldn't know Modesty if it hit you in the face. You're well, always so risque. Oh, I'll show you girls risque. Oh. That's enough, ladies. Rain it in. Bathing with the upperclassmen's a new experience. I wonder if it's the new normal. It should be. What year we're in doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this is a good idea? Everything kind of stings. Standing around like that won't help your injuries, and you'll catch a cold, so come sit down. Okay. Uh, Most of the time I take it easy for a day or two until I heal up. Quick recovery is important. <laughs> you know, we might date together more often now. <laughs> Perhaps. This was the only hollow ground where Rory and I could be alone together, and now look! I hate this, I'm dead in hell life. now! The cold breeze is so calming, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds me a little of home. Now then, this is the current state of nest number seven in Yuigahama, which is the nest directly under our jurisdiction at Yurigaoka. Uh-huh. And down here, you can see this big buff Ultra class huge. It's basically the nest's power generator. Ultra what? Whoa, hang on. It looks like it's hiding. At the bottom of the ocean? Bingo, bingo, you win the prize. The Ultra class baddies don't pop up often, but you'd know if you saw one since they're 400 meters to a kilometer long. Okay, so what's it doing lying around down there? The huge we've faced lately have been drawing, well, practically stealing, massive quantities of magi from this Ultra class, and it's pretty much tapped. Since that last show of force, we've detected zero activity. They're not even attempting restoration. The entire nest could be labeled as defunct, which makes this our best chance to eliminate it. Like, destroy the nest? That's correct. It is a mission we have decided to entrust to you, Hitotsu Naga. Uh, okay. With this. Seriously? We'll have you make a pact with it before you go, of course. It's a fitting end for this charm. After all, you could say it's responsible for this whole mess. Miss Misuzu's overwritten spells allowed her to exert influence over the Yuigahama Huge, which made them go haywire. And that gave me this idea. I loaded the Dine Slave with a bug spell to help us decommission the Ultra Class for good. It should get the job done, but the finishing touches are a little improvised. I didn't expect us to need it so soon. You're right, we should hurry. There's no time to waste. Correct. After today's battle and elaborate Neunveld execution, we have only a handful of charms left in our arsenal. If a huge showed up now, we'd all be sunk. We're out of resources. We didn't choose you arbitrarily, Riri. This plan can only be carried out by a lily with charisma. Without that particular skill, the bug injection would fail. And, worst case scenario, it could backfire. Okay, so what does Charisma do? How do I use it? Generally speaking, it's a support skill. You can influence others to improve performance. The lilies you fight with fight better. It commonly benefits entire legions. But what you did today totally transcends the normal limits. You enhanced all of us. The whole student body passed one Magisphere to complete the Neunveld. That should be impossible. Now, this is just a theory, but I kind of think you may have manifested a higher level skill. Regardless, you're asking her to put herself in danger. I know. <sighs> oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Acting Chairman. Hmm? I wanted to say thank you. Young lady, but what for? The stuff you did for Yuri? Miss Moyu told me that you stood up for her until the very end. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that, so thank you. Of course. I deeply regret that I couldn't do more to save her. Well then, I'm in. 
If this plan will save other lilies like Yuri, then I want to help. Protecting people and knowing they're happy is important to me. No one should have to lose their friends. It's so quiet. Yes, we should be well below sea level by now. I guess that must be the Ultra Class Huge. If it's all right with <sighs> you, I would like to accompany her. Are you sure? I feel the same way she does, so let's not risk further loss. She shouldn't have to do this alone, as long as we care for each other. I know we'll make it back just fine. <laughs> Please, sir. Let me protect Riri. Sounds good. And you know I'm always gonna have your back. You, you. Riri. Please forgive us. We're very conscious of the burdens we're asking you to bear. <clears throat> it's fine. Really. It's no hardship. We're performing our duty. We're depending on you. Good luck. you up? Hey, Yuri. Did you sleep okay? Mm, I'm not sure. I think I was in the middle of a really sad dream. But now I can't remember what it was about. Well, don't worry. I promise you're safe. And I'm gonna help get you back home to you, you and the others, alright? <sighs> I love you, Yuri. Goodbye. Riri. Riri. Hey, what happened? Where are we? We injected the bug and defeated the Ultra Class Huge. The nest will fall soon. Now we're on our way back. It feels like I'm wrapped up in you. I like it. I don't know what that means. I had a dream. Yuri came to see me. Did she? That's kind of her. Miss Misuzu hasn't visited me like that. Even so, please don't forget that she loved you with her whole heart, Miss Yuyu. Everything she did back then, it was to protect you, no matter what. You know that, right? Her feelings were engraved into that dying slave. I felt them like they were my own. All she wanted was for you to be happy. If that's true, then it means... that she didn't drive the huge insane on purpose. Right. But wait, there's one thing that still bothers me about it. Huh? I mean, she obviously loved you. 
and that's a good thing, so it should have made her happy, right? And yet, she struggled with accepting her own feelings for some reason. But she didn't curse herself or anything like that because of it. Because she loved me? Well, it's a powerful feeling. I mean, that's why I want to protect you too. Take notes. This will make a wonderful article. Let's hold off on the photo op. It can't be in the paper looking like that. I can't believe this is how you conduct yourself in the middle of the day. There's a time and a place for these things! <laughs> Missed you too, all of you. I'm glad you're safe. Have a good trip. Welcome home, friends. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome home! Good to be home. home.